We're live, I think. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the stream. Um, how are you all doing today? It's New Year's, New Year's Day, I guess, or Old Year's we're Day. Live. I don't know. I heard myself say we're live. Um, it's a day. It's, it's definitely a day today. There is a day, um, and, and this is one of them. Um, but yeah, we're playing uh, the Lu Xi. I know, I know it's not pronounced Xi, but I'm going to keep saying that because I haven't looked up the exact uh, correct pronunciation yet. So we're going to keep saying Lu Xi. Um, we're playing as him, uh, as we did last evening for me, last time we streamed anyway. Um, we're going to play, I'm going to play for about, you know, two and a half hours, a little bit, a little bit longer, because of course I need to divide uh, the eight hours that I am allowed to stream uh, with this embargo between three different streams, so last yesterday's one was a bit short because I streamed twice in a day. But anyway, hello everyone, hello Emil Pal, hello Niar Laz. Um, I think at this point only a no army challenge could defeat you at Shogun. <laughs> Probably something like that. Yeah, I've completed the Waisugi on hard, which was pretty difficult. Is it true that the AI starts to spawn units on the legendary difficulty? Uh, no, there's no like, you know, they, their, their recruitment cost and reduction and the upkeep cost and all that is super cheap, but they don't like magically spawn units like some people say. Love your stream. Oh, fucking yes. Is he a governor? He is a governor, yes. Um, if you want to see, you know, the first stream, you're welcome to go back and watch the one from yesterday first. What did you have for lunch? Uh, f well, literally because today is uh, Old Year's Day, as we call it in, in the Netherlands, uh, I had Olibola, which if there's anyone from the Netherlands watching, they were like, oh, fuck yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, basically, it's 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 more like a snack, but I had it for lunch because because we only eat it around New Year's Day and like fun fairs and stuff. Uh, don't you all uh, think all the bad day of having campaigns are so easy? Uh, I haven't, I've only played two, so I can't really say. Um, but generally, I don't think it's... I mean, the, the thing is, the Man of the Heaven thing is not... It's like, it, it's a campaign that goes into Three Kingdoms, right? So, you it, like, I don't think they're necessarily easy. Or maybe the Man of the Heaven part of it is relatively simple. Because the AI seems to just overwhelm the Yellow Turbans pretty frequently. Um, but I don't think it's necessarily easy. Because, you know, after that you can just keep, still keep playing and, and, and continue into the Three Kingdoms. And then it becomes a normal campaign, essentially, just with a slightly earlier start. But... Happy New Year. Well, Happy New Year to anyone who's already in the New Year, which was possibly some, like in Asia, maybe? I don't think quite yet, anyway. Um, CA has done a great job. This DLC can't wait to play. Yeah, I, I've, this game is getting better and better, man. They're adding, they're patching, they're adding DLC. It's like the Eight Princess was a bit of a letdown for most people, but this is like one of them good ones. This is the, this is the fall of the Samurai of, of, of uh, Free Kingdoms, really. Hello Donkey, hello CV the Destroyer. Hey, wait, did you change your name from CV the Destroyer 2 to just CV the Destroyer? What's going on here? <laughs> you're the guy, we're not, you're, you're him from yesterday, right? Happy brand new decade, everyone. May it be profitable and keep you well. I hope so too. Should we play, should we play the game? I think that's, you know, a fairly reasonable thing to, to, to do. Um, so yeah, last time we left off, we were besieging Anping um, with our army against Pei Yuan Shao. By the way, these guys look like eerily similar. Um, yeah, I guess Pei Yuan Shao has got a pretty solid army. Um, why is it when I click on this one? Hold on, this is being really weird. Okay, now it's working fine. I was clicking on my dude, and I got their army, and, and vice versa. But anyway, we got Pei Yuan Shao, and we got uh, some random people in here, and of course, there's a garrison too. So I can't really, I don't really want to attack this one straight up. But after next turn, they'll start taking attrition. We do have a rebellion, and I'm incapable of recruiting another army because we literally can't have two armies yet, and I have no real way of fixing that right now. I was going through reforms though, just to see if there's like an easy fix for that, but the easiest one we can get uh, is over here. So we need to get three different things before we can get. So that's 17 turns from now, so not gonna happen. Actually, it'd be two, seven. No, it'd be 12 turns from now. But even so, 13 turns from now. Whatever. It's too long. Um, so yeah, that's not going to happen. We, we're not going to get any from leveling up our, our, our faction leader or our um, our heir, because both of them are um, 
Actually, well, I mean, we can get one here, but we need to level up twice, so that's not going to happen. And then Guajia is our... F oh, he, okay, if he levels up once, we actually do get one. And he's currently doing an assignment, so I suppose he could, but he's very far away from leveling up. But if he if he were to level up, I could go for this. Although, yeah, it's the, it sucks because I really don't want to get this, but we did discuss that last time. So that's like the closest thing I could get to getting another army. And we've got a rebellion not happening here because I've got this exempted, which is kind of fixing this. I'm losing food because of it, but eh. Um... Yeah, this is exempt. Or this is currently exempted, and then uh, it's currently minus two per turn. So in six turns it will rebel, but the faction support's going up, so the minus three from faction support's going away. So it should be okay. I just hope I can handle this here because it is a level four town. We've got a garrison here, but it's not large. It yeah. kind of depends on when they decide to attack. If they wait much longer, I might be fucked. But then we can run back and kind of deal with it because they have to still siege me out for a little bit. Anyway. Let's uh, end turn. I think there isn't much we can do. I might be able to sell some food. I suppose I should have a cheeky peek. Uh, you are st fucking stingy as hell, so he's not going to give me any money. Um, I don't. F I think we may have looked at this pretty recently. I, you, I guess, I could do some some food dealing with some some food dealings. Um, I'll give you like I'll give you just the two that you need for four. Do we, were you going to make me a good offer for that? No, you're definitely not. Well. Um, how about like just insta money right now? That's um, that's much better than I could get from him over time. So you know what? I think twelve fifty. That's valuing each food at um, six hundred and seventy five, right? So no, six hundred and twenty five, um, which is pretty good because that yeah that's that's sixty five bucks per turn for food. That's that's a pretty decent deal actually. So I'll definitely take that. Not that I need the food right now or anything, but. This is fine. Um, gives us a little bit more money. I don't have anything to spend it on. Right, sorry, the money right now. I, I have nothing to spend it on right now, so it's not really you know hugely help hugely helpful or anything at this particular moment in time. But it's okay. We also have pretty good satisfaction all across the board. Um, I don't quite have high satisfaction bonuses yet, but I'm be surprised if we do. That's I think because we put what's his face in the assignment, which is giving me plus ten satisfaction faction wide, which is pretty sweet. Um. Stop chatting as much because you only get a few hours. Stop telling me how to do my streams, my boy. It was you, CV the Destroyer, good man. Um, how many turns does it take to get to 3k in this era and this? It, I, I don't know if it's like a specific turn or anything because it... Oh, there you go. Dong uh, got taken. So that's Huang Xiao gone. Um, yeah, I don't think it's like a specific amount of turns before it happens. It just kind of gradually goes into the Three Kingdoms... Period. I mean, like the initial start date on Free Kingdoms isn't Free Kingdoms either, right? Like, it's not like there's only Free Kingdoms in that. You're working towards once you have free people become emperor, essentially. That's when the Free Kingdoms happens, really. Mm -hmm. Fuck, they recruited another one. God damn. I mean, these aren't replenishing anymore, and they're not replenishing anymore either. So I guess it's just. Eh. It might be okay still if they don't replenish anymore. Minus five morale. Oh boy. That's unfortunate, but should be okay. But they're gonna... Oh wait, they're besieging me. Oh, they are. Let's have a look at how this currently looks. It's a close victory right now, if we were just auto resolve it right now. If I fight it manually, I don't think it's gonna go as well. Um... Sure. Oh, they died. Well, it wasn't that convenient. Okay, well, I guess I was too... I was more worried about this than I should have been. Uh, yeah, I'll take the replenishment right now. Get that garrison up a little bit. Also, sorry about all the explosions in the, in the background. Of course, uh, fireworks are being fired off constantly. Technically illegal, and it fucking annoys me the hell out of me. But hey, people are going to do what they're going to do, am I right? So they're going to start taking attrition now, which makes me think that they'll probably sally out and attack me. But that's okay. Um, other than that, there's just really, once again, not a whole lot we can do here. We're making 1200 bucks per turn. Not bad. Um... I don't really have anything else to do in terms of selling military access or whatever, so let's go and see if they sally out. They very well might do. Oh, hello. Yeah, they will. Okay, it's unfortunate. I kind of hoped they would just take the attrition for a little bit, but well. Uh, not a single unit of cav, which works out pretty well for us again since we have six of them. Six of the bastards. We have three ranged, four or five ranged mm. units against us, but they're all archers. All archer gang, I think, as well. Um... They don't have anything special, like all their stuff is just basically Spearman Gang and Redeemed Outlaws and stuff. There's nothing crazy in here except for the Bringers of Peace, uh, which but there's only 60 of them, so that's not really a huge deal. And then the Huang Lao's Paragons, 
which is only one unit actually so all right let's fucking kill them all shall we let's do it um good night everyone god damn it i cannot stay for the whole stream that's too bad choose wisely but you can watch the stream afterwards as a, vi a video so it's gonna be okay um 40 or 50 get free kingdoms again it kind of it depends on what what, can, what you consider a free kingdoms period like if you mean like actually free emperors basically like oh god why are you fucking dead because you came back from uh, from being almost dead i guess from being wounded in a random fucking event that sucks i didn't really consider that at all probably won't make much of a difference really but still um, I don't want to sit in the forest because it'll do it'll fuck up my charges. Same as a hill, so I think I'm just gonna sit like right up here. Should be okay. We are massively out infantry again, so that's something we gotta keep in mind. But again, our cav is basically gonna make up for that. I'm just gonna pop all of you guys out here. They have no cav, so I don't. I just gotta keep them away from ra range units. Really. Speaking of, let's pop my range units down there. Then I'm gonna have. Some cav on either side. And you guys are just gonna sit in the middle. Alright. And now we have his buff as well, so he needs to definitely stay towards the middle and because it's hundred meters, it almost get well, it gets all the, the middle stuff, not quite units on the on the flank, but that's okay. They don't need to plus them around anyway, because they're unbreakable. Um And then we just got our melee evasion and we got our final rush, yeah, whatever. Whatever, dude. It's when the dong gets fat. That's my official free <laughs> Yeah, that's around 40 turns. Okay, they're gonna wait for their reinforcements, which... It's only seven units. It's not a huge deal. It'd be nice if they went and just attacked us like this. Oh, if only we had Hail of Arrows right now. Fucking fire right in that blob. Can you fucking imagine the damage we'd be doing? Also, they're trampling on their own. Did they actually take some damage from walking for their own stakes? Oh boy, are they gonna take damage, or they just did they just destroy it, or, or they just walk through? Yeah, I guess they can just walk through. Okay, so I guess it doesn't do much against infantry. Then it just hurts cavalry only, which it makes sense, obviously. But okay, um, they must have some oil as well or something. Are you guys? Are you actually coming to attack? Because I'd be okay waiting for an hour here, because you're gonna be losing in the end. Um, so I guess you know if you just. You want to sit there for an hour or 20 minutes if we triple speed it. That's okay by me. It's totally fine. Nope, they're coming. All right, fair enough. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, D, D true Asian. I'm still nine and a half hours away, but still. Didn't take the... I didn't take the eight prince DLC, but we'll take this one. Sadly, I'm not hyped whatsoever by Troy. Hmm. I'm not very hyped either, but that's mostly because they haven't shown anything yet. Any, like anything useful anyway if you're gonna buy the DLC um, use the link in the description to to, to game um, it's an official retailer you get the DLC a little bit cheaper if you use the code smart at checkout you get an extra an additional 10% off of the already discounted price and it supports the channel at the same time so that's you know that's that's the main incentive really or it ought to be um, but yeah it's up to you um, right, I'm gonna move forward just a little bit because it gets me in a slightly more hilly position. The cav is still gonna be able to fairly freely charge, so that's not gonna be much of a problem. I'm gonna put you guys a little further this way, and put you guys a little bit further that way because I really don't want these guys to come after you, but they might still do so anyway. In fact, I might want to keep them around here simply because that. Eh, eh. No, nah, it's okay. If we distract some units, that's okay too. There's less um, less of a threat on them. Anyway, start fucking shooting them down, shall we? Shoot the shit, you sons of shitses. It's the normal speed. Okay, so I do kind of want to target some actual specific units like the Huang Lao's Paragons, possibly, but mostly the um, Bringers of Peace. No peace will be brought here today. But I think for the moment I'm just going to let them fire. Let them fire. Okay, they're definitely coming after me. That's okay. Let's just, you know, make use of it and basically distract a couple extra units. We can just run around them at some point. Snow, unfortunately, does reduce our speed, so our charge is going to be a little bit less effective. 
I would put him in the shield wall, but again, we just... The fucking formation becomes like that, so not particularly useful. Just run general around for the map for an hour. <laughs> that was my best fought battle ever in, in Shogun 2. That was absolutely crazy. Amazingly, you can both talk and battle, even though we're just we're just standing there, dude. We're not doing anything. No one's no one's battling. What are you talking about? Actually, let's run you guys around this way. Let's have you go this way. Make sure we stay away from them, though. Stay away, stay away, stay. Away. Oh, you know what? What I will do, actually, I did this last time too, and it worked out pretty well. I'm gonna fire. I'm gonna fire at their range units so that I don't have to worry about them with my calf. Like, I'll still send him that way, but mostly I just want to charge into the infantry. Because that's like the main threat that they have, is infantry. I gotta get over here fucking rapid like that. Uh, you're gonna go kill Pei Yuan Shao actually while we're at it. You might as well help out a little bit. Eh, you're a little bit wounded, I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay. They kind of stopped. Oh boy, nope. I'm gonna say just uh, you can fuck right off. Both of you are gonna be not dueling anyone. Okay, I'm gonna run you that way. I'm gonna have you guys all just kind of line up and shoot at whatever the fuck you wanna, sh you wanna shoot at. I'm gonna have you come in here as well, actually. I'm gonna have you come in here. I'm gonna have you come in there. <laughs> Sounds really bad. You're actually gonna go there instead. You're gonna go further around. Should've done this sooner. Uh, yeah, you're just gonna kill all those units off, make sure they don't come back. How are we doing infantry-wise? Taking a bit of a beating. Okay, you fuck them up. Great charge. Just come over here and charge them instead now. You're gonna go straight up in... Straight up in here. Um, Alright, you've done that quite effectively. You're gonna come back this way now. Your infantry here is not doing too hot. Uh, we are doing really well on the flanks though, so that's good. As you might expect. We just gotta get over towards the center, because yeah, we're, we're routing over here. We're routing over here! I need to get some of their units routing, and then we got massive morale buffs, like within the 100 meter range. Which is gonna be very fucking helpful. There it is, I saw it happen right, right bloody there. Ladies and gentlemen, you need to get the fuck out of there, my dude. You're gonna replace that unit in there. And then you're fucking all over the place, I don't know how this happened, but there you go. Probably because I specifically, oh, you know what, just go further around. You need to come back in here somewhere, get in the back of all this stuff, because there's way too many actual units there. I probably should have attacked the generals too, really. Yeah, 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 they're routing. I, I get it, I get it. We're doing alright. I gotcha. You should have done something ages ago as well. What the fuck am I doing? You may as well counter charge them. Give them the old charge Rooney. Let's have you come over this way. Actually, just start up charging there, that's fine. I need one cav unit to come around here. Come around, come around with me. Um. Eh, leave the generals. I kind of want to charge them, but I also feel like it's not really worth it. I'll just kill him. He's actually quite low right now. Okay, get the fuck out of there again. Oh, what? They routed. What the fuck's going on here? What in tarnation, I ask you? That's a unit I don't want to fight right now because it's annoying. Do that. You've come back from routing. Get back in there. Help me. Get in there. Uh, unit over here, yes. Oh god, they're running. What the fuck is going on? Are you gonna turn around and be annoying against my calf? Because that will lose me a lot of men if I don't pay attention to this. Like, there's plenty of shit to do right now, but... Like sending you in somewhere. Go in there. Okay, I think that was fine. Judging from the amount of fucking men that just died there. That was a good charge. That was a solid charge, that was... You've come back from routing, good. No, no, don't attack that unit. I don't know what that was, but don't do it. Don't do it, you son of a bitch. Um, I gotta kill these actual characters, though. Where's... Oh, God, have you guys been chasing someone? Yes, you have. Okay, let's have the calf... Let's have you guys come back. And the calf keeps chasing Pei Yuan Shao. And you, I don't know what the fuck you're doing. Just come back this way. You charge back in there. Oh, I want to see this one. This is gonna be good. Oh, they're routing, too. I think we may have a mass ride, honestly. Solid charging. I have probably the only unit he has, like that one, 11 and 2. 2. Get in there, man. 
All right. That was pretty good. I'm not going to complain. I won't do it. I won't complain about it. Uh, what I do need to do is try and kill off as much as humanly possible here. So I will actually just immediately start sending you guys after stuff that you might be able to kill. Did you get dismounted? No, you're running on calf. So if you were dismounted, you would not be there already. Um, go towards the furthest away unit. Have I got any calf? Yeah, you. I mean, if the generals alone get away, it's it's okay. I'd prefer no generals get away though, because that would mean that if we then attack the actual town next turn, then we actually don't have to kill the generals, which is like that's the toughest part of it when we do an actual siege. You came back from routing, yeah? You you fucking went a little bit early there. Do I have any calf doing nothing? I feel like I do. Yeah, there's a unit in here, although I think they just finished off that unit, so... I can't really complain too much about that. Um, yeah, come over here, I guess. They're gone. They're still alive. They're gone. I don't think I'm reaching this general anytime soon, is the problem right now. Um, although, don't you have Final Rush? Health? Oh, that's something where you help. Never mind. I thought that was the one where, after the battle's over, you become a fucking killing machine or something, but I guess not. Uh, I got plenty of units to kill there too, but I have no cav in the vicinity. Except for you, we're still chasing Pei Yuan Shao, so I guess that's okay. Once this unit's gone, which it is now, got to kill that one. What time is it in the Netherlands? It is 2.41pm. Almost 3pm, yeah. Two, yeah, well, nobody fucking says it. Why is he streaming this early? Because it's Christmas. Or Christmas. It's Christmas. Because of um, New Year's Eve. Um, if I were to... I I'm not going to stream tonight, so I might as well just stream now. So I get an actual stream in. What's this unit? What are you... Oh, I already checked that one. What's this one? 24, they're gone. Yeah, I think we're... Um, we're not going to be able to... Oh, you're actually... You caught up, so that's good. What about the... Okay, that guy got away. Pei Yuan Shao got away, unfortunately. What is this? That's, is that part of my unit? What the fuck are you guys doing? Uh, 5, 15, wait, 19, 40. Okay, that arch is going to get away. Someone needs to come over this way, man. I have no cavalry going this way at all. Also, I probably should have been triple speeding this for a while. You guys are incredibly slow. I know it's snowing and all that, but my god, what was that? It's like you don't want to actually do any killing. It's like you don't want to murder people. Like, what's going on, man? You killed that unit. Fantastic. All right, there's not going to be much that gets away here. So, and they take attrition as well. So that's good as well. Um, okay. <laughs> he just buffed himself because he's near a unit that's riding. That's fucking great. Kill him. Kill him better. More killing, please. Okay, they're gone. That one killed, like, kill four of these and they're gone as well. Uh, there we go. Alright. I think it may have been a general still that we were chasing, but whatever. Um, enjoy or get the fuck out. Yo, Chiu, I'm just wondering. I am joking. Besides, the streams are a nice start to the day. Well, enjoy or get the fuck out, dude. <laughs> Uh, Alright, so we have an archer gang that got away. All three generals survived, but again, they're taking attrition immediately too, which is pretty useful. And then nothing survived here, so it's literally just an archer gang and the three generals. Archer gang, archer gang, archer gang. Alright, let's take the 7% replenishment. Oh god, we're gonna be running out of um, supplies here pretty rapidly now. Pretty rapido like. Come on, Pranav. Yoshi. Yoshi. Joshi, enjoy or get the fuck out. <laughs> Order, sir. Uh, we can destroy buildings or we can destroy walls. Uh, you know what? I'm going to fuck up the walls. Because I'm I'm going to attack in a second. So having one wall destroyed is actually going to be pretty good. Holy fuck. Who the hell are you, people? And why is there no one unique in here? I would I would have taken a unique person. How are you? Le oh, you actually are legendary. What the fuck? Oh, you're... Oh, man. She's got, like, almost all the good shit already. Cunning too, but then she's obstinate. Complete waste of a character. Shang Rui, I think I've seen his name before. Eh, whatever. None of these people. You all bore me. All right, we got loads of money. So I'm gonna build some more shit. Shit. Um, should I upgrade the town? I don't have that much food, but I feel like that might not be a bad idea. Um, 
We should get this upgraded one more time. One more time. Um. Fucking the world's ending, boys. Um. Eh. Yeah, I've already got zero, by the way. That's good shit. Faction support went from minus three to minus one. The fuck? Uh, yeah, I suppose while I have the money, I should I ought to do that. Can I get my actual army, please? If, you, if it's not too much trouble, of course. Um, okay, so that gives us the movement range, which is what I want. It unfortunately, you know, plus one available army, but only if he's a prime minister, heir, or faction leader, which he isn't, so... Pointless, really, but I do want it for the 25% movement range anyway, so... And we finally unlocked the build the food stuff, so I'm gonna go for the food stuff right now, because there's plenty of food to be had. Uh, and then we're gonna do this battle. I don't think I'm gonna auto this one yet. Medium losses, even though there's 41 dudes, it sucks, but you know, that's the way it is. We have sapping though, so we, we have fucked up another building too. So yeah, I'll fight this one manually, I suppose. Do we know how many legendary characters they introduced with this DLC? Yes, we do. What is your take on... Okay, I'm not even going to read that. Um, how many legendary characters? So there is obviously... Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure if I'm allowed... I think I'm allowed to show you. Like, I have a, we have an assets map, basically. But basically, we have the three Yellow Turban boys. Uh, we have the Liu Chong, Liu Hong. Then we have this guy, who's a new char playable character as well. Then we got Huang Fu Song. Um, he's a legendary character. Then there is the um, the leader of the army for Liu Hong's, like the Imperial Army and Liu Hong's faction. He's unique as well. And besides that, I don't think there's any other unique characters like um, that you get, like like with with with, with a lord or something. Um, but we do have, of course, uh, Dao Chan is new. We have. Um, well, Tao Chan isn't new, but he's now a new legendary, or new playable character in the free LC. Dao Chan is free LC as well, by the way. And then I think there's one or two more guys who are also free LC. Anyway, walls are busted here. Doesn't look like the best place to attack necessarily, but I guess we can walk in, so let's not make it too difficult for ourselves. I'm also going to just only basically use you guys. You need to drop that thing, though. You're just going to move up in turtle formation. Total formation! And I'll move you guys right behind, and then the rest is all fucking pointless. Uh, you guys should probably come over here for no real reason other than why not. And then you guys might actually do something. And someone should probably bring this tower, just in case. Okay. Actually, I don't want to... I want it to be as long as... No, actually, no, I think that's like... Eh, whatever. Alright. Go here. Just fucking go. You guys just stay near, please. Don't move away, because I will, I will be able to shoot the nom pretty rapidly. What the fuck is this? What are you doing? Trying to make an S shape or something? What the fuck? Uh, actually, don't go too close, because there is an archer unit there, so let's just start shooting at that. I think I may have moved into range. Yeah, whatever the case, they're fucked off, so there you go. See you later. Now let's shoot the generals. I guess this is some kind of fucking uh, evasive, evasive actions they're doing here. Definitely missing a lot of shots because of that. That said, I'm happy to sit here and miss a lot of a bunch of shit the shots. But if they if he sits still there though, can we not hit him? The fucking bolts are landing over here. Yeah, hit shoot the guy who's stationary. That was, sounds like a pretty good idea, honestly, to me. There goes one. Would have been great if they were sworn to each other and started just fucking charging me. I will happily run out of ammo here though, especially if she's just gonna sit there now. Should be able to get a decent amount of damage on her. I honestly feel like it's more accurate when they're shooting over the top. I don't know what the fuck this is going, what is this doing here, but... Not a ton of damage I'm seeing. But luckily she's just a healer, so she's not going to be particularly good in melee anyway, so I can just... Kill her with the... With the generals. So I'm just going to send these two guys in. Right bloody now, let's go. Hi donkey, hi beep boop. Um, why would he stream? Wait, are we talking? Will you be streaming on Twitch? Uh, I well, yeah, I'm no no on my own channel, but yeah, tomorrow, 
Oh my god, they're fucking oil and shit. I should run away and fucking burn the oil while she's standing there. I will be streaming tomorrow and the day after on the official Total War Twitch channel, so... Wait, hold on. Hold on, why did... What happened? Why did he... Why did he route? Did, did she have some kind of special ability to make me route or something? Also, is she actually gonna stand there? Are you serious? She's gonna fucking ruin everything by standing there. Um... Alright, let's see what happens. Like, I shouldn't have too much trouble killing her, but we're underneath the towers right now, which isn't very good. Obviously. And she's healing as well, isn't she? Can you just stand still and attack her? What is this constant running around her? We're not doing any fucking damage. What are you doing? What's happening? Just stay there. Okay, you know what? Fucking get inside. If she wants to heal, she can heal. I don't give a fuck. What is he? Whoa, 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 What the fuck is going on? My dudes are controlling themselves. What the fuck? Never seen this before. Alright, drop the fucking thing. Why did I need that anyway? Okay, I'm very confused about what the fuck's going on right now. Units are just, like, doing whatever the fuck they want to do. I don't think there's any need to destroy that. You guys, get out of formation. Just come up this way. God, this is going to take ages because of this. Jesus Christ. Okay, there's there's towers there, so I guess we're gonna avoid those and go and attack this barricade here. Get it, get it done. Um, capture the other gate. There's no, I mean, I guess actually, yeah, it's not a bad idea. Go capture this gate for me, and then I don't think we get the arrows from it, but at least it'll stop. We we it'll stop shooting me when I try and attack her, and I guess I'll just send some cav at her. Make sure we stay out of. Oh, God damn, that fucking tower is gonna ruin me, but that's okay. Wait, I'm, oh, fucking hell, I'm taking damage on these guys for the, the whole time I've been standing there. Yep, that's quite a few dudes I lost for no reason. Oh, you're moving at the range of that fucking tower right there, my god. Okay. Uh, no, I'm gonna pass on that one. Have you guys done this yet? Almost. Halfway there. Okay. We're gonna be getting shot by the towers over on the flanks, but I should be able to kill her without too much trouble. Look at their fucking healing over there, man. Some good fucking healing. Alright, please tell me we can take her down pretty quickly. What is this? What is this charge here? What is going on right now? No, she's here! She's outside! What the fuck is happening? I'm so confused right now. Like, units are controlling themselves. Fucking charges are going here. They're fucking destroying her. So that's exactly what I had hoped for. Probably shouldn't have sent my good units, to be honest. But, hold on. 6.2k, come on. Where did the damage go? 5.5k even. 3.8. Yeah, let's keep chasing her for now. Barricade's still not gone. There we go. Alright, get the fuck inside. I don't care where, just get inside. Stop getting shot. You come over as well. I might even just use a calf to kill her, by the way, instead of... Just come over there. Instead of uh, using my generals, because he's, uh, he's awful low. I don't like it. I don't like it. Um, yeah, go here first. We got the barricade down now, so I can make my way over. I can use a spear unit too, but the cab is more effective at it for sure. Merry Christmas. What is the best Total War game in your opinion? In my opinion, it's this game right here. The battles in Shogun 2, the campaign map in Free Kingdoms. But the battles are getting better in Free Kingdoms as well as they're, um, as they're fixing everything and, and patching and adding shit, etc. Alright. Game is not that buggy, but the sieges have really weird tracking, etc. I've never I've never seen that kind of shit before though. Like, I've played a fair amount of sieges in this game now, but I've never seen that happen. The city is ours It's not actually yet though. It's still theirs. Alright. Fucking kill, please. See you later, Lu Feng Shang. Get out of here. Go on, get on out of here. Alright. Um I hope there's hot fixing me the horrible bugs. What what bugs? Do you prefer romance over records? Yeah. I've I have I, mean, I haven't done any records campaigns yet. Except I think pre release I had done one or two. Well I like I checked one or two, but I hadn't really played. Ooh, that's pretty fucking sweet right there. I'll have that. Execute you. And I'll occupy that. 
Um, yeah, but overall, even though I, I wasn't really in Warhammer 2, the reason I don't like Warhammer, one of the reasons I don't like Warhammer that much is because of the ov overpowered characters and all that. Um, but somehow, even though in this game it's pretty similar, I, I kind of like it. It works for me. Anyway, I believe this used to be owned by uh, one of these guys, but I'm not sure. He's, so there's five towns left now. In fact, was that Zhang Bao gone? Oh, we have killed off the Zhang Bao faction. What the fuck? Yep, it did say that. I didn't even realize. Okay, we just took out the Zhang Bao faction. What the fuck? So there's five towns left over by Zhang Zhe. Oh, and then there's also four towns by other Yellow Turban Rebels, but they don't count towards the actual like victory condition for us. We just have to kill all the Yellow Turban Rebels. Or leaders, even. Um, okay, right, cool. Uh, we got more food here. Get your food here. Uh, I'm sure fervor is going to be a problem. Oh, yeah, it is. Currently 100 fervor. It doesn't give me any minus happiness right now, but I'm sure it will do soon. All right, so we want to convert that over. I want to convert this one over to that, and then I want to fucking demolish this shit, because who the hell wants that building? Am I right? I am right. You know. Um, okay, cool. So that's good. This place is going to rebel again very shortly. This place is okay for now, being exempted from tax. We're just going to keep going on the offensive, I think, here. Prefer to attack some people out in the field, but hey, I won't complain. Also, the more I take, the sooner I'll get second marquee and I can actually get a second army. Because having this much territory, well, it's not much territory, but five towns and not actually getting or being able to get a second army yet is quite ludicrous. Um, yeah, I can't even split armies right now because of that. Right. School allows you to re unlock some reforms. I think that's like, isn't it the stuff I already have though, this one? Um... Or is it, is, oh wait, is it that one? No, that's the other one, it's the horse exchange. I think it is this one, and I already have that because I uh, started with that one unlocked for this faction. I'm pretty sure I don't need to, I guess I should look for the little locks, but yeah, I think it's I think it's that one, which we already have, so it doesn't matter. Um, but feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. But you'll be too late, cause fucking enter, wait, hold on, do I have one to sell food? Get your food here. Uh, oh, Kong Rong, non aggression. Kong Rong, my boy. What's this now? Wait, no, no, I'm not gonna fucking pay you. Get the fuck out of here, son. Uh, ooh, this might actually be okay. That's not bad. I'll make it 163. What do you say? You say that's fucking great. 166. Oh, one more. No? Alright, fair enough. 169. What, have you got any ancillaries? Or 160, whatever the fuck it was, actually. Um, you do, but I don't think I care enough. 166 is what it was. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, never mind. Yeah, okay, so I was fucking right, and you were goddamn wrong, you little bastard. Don't distract me ever again. Not a joke. Um, right. Okay, so we have... Yeah, we got diplomacy. I mean, there's not really much. I could probably sell some food, but I don't think I'm going to get much for it. Um, I can't have a second army yet, we're doing all of that. There is something else I wanted to do right now, but I have basically completely forgotten. Right, yes, ancillaries. I was actually going to have a look at those, because I do have... Yeah, I got one good one already. I currently have plus six cunning, which is good, because it's more ammunition, but I think... Plus five percent income from all sources. I mean, it's pretty shit. In fact, I could give it to... Um, what's his face instead? Gorgia, because he doesn't have anything, so I guess we'll give it to him for now, because he's all he's my heir right now, so it does do something. Did that actually... Okay, it makes me an extra six bucks per turn. Oh, boy! <laughs> Fuck yeah. All right, well, we're going to be rich shortly. Stand by while I acquire riches. Do I have any other mounts that I've given? Yeah, you've got the resolve mount. I haven't got any other mounts other than that. It's kind of sad. Okay. Let's do it. Feel like the yellow turbines are too weak in this DLC. Yeah, it's either them being too weak or oh boy, this fucking guy's taking this now. God damn it. Um, it's either them being too weak or just just too much for them to handle. Like they're not necessarily weak. I just don't you know they can't really kick off, but they're not supposed to either you know historically. So it's not crazy that they get taken out. Um. Look before you leap. 
Uh, Cause's nature has been unjustly misconstrued as a cowardice. However, while leading their troops through a forest, the general ordered all to halt. Poking the leafy ground ahead with a spear caused the ground to give way, revealing a pit trap. Now our warnings are listened to with respect. Good. An extra morale. Fucking great. I was always hoping for some more morale. Okay, so we, we're we now... He still has five towns. He took something else. But now if I want to take anything, I have to go through other people's towns, which kind of sucks. But, I mean... You gotta do what you gotta do, am I right? I am right. Just wanna... I'll finish that for you. In case you were wondering if... Is he right? Yeah, I am. Um... Okay, so we demolished the building, gonna build stuff up. We have, yeah, we can build something here. All right, let's go for the next level of this. Or do we go for 75% food production first? No, I'll go for another, another food from that. Or I could upgrade this. It's four more food from both of those, which means I can definitely handle it, especially when I, you know, I'll exempt this place and we have another 14. That's a lot of fucking food I've got. I don't think I'm even worried about the rebellions anymore, am I? Plus, I'm actually missing out on quite a bit of money now. So, I am actually gonna... I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it rebel, because we, we've seen that we can definitely deal with the rebellion, no problem, so... Let's just assume we'll be okay. Right, so the army is kind of replenishing still. I could do with one more turn for sure, but I also really want to go and fucking take some territory. If I move right now, I can get there next turn. Although I'm not sure if I actually can, because I won't be in my own territory. Am I allied to them? We are in an alliance, aren't we? So I, I think I do actually replenish in their territory. Um, you know, not quite as much though. It's going to be pretty trashy replenishment. But if I wait too long, I'm just going to be like getting further and further behind. All these people around me are going to start building up super crazy hard, and I'm just going to sit here, not able to do anything. Um. So I don't know. I think I think we need to replenish that. I think we need to give it at least one turn of replenishment and then a turn of replenishment inside of his territory. And then I guess we can go... I guess we can reach that too. But again, it won't be my own territory I'm moving from, so I might not be able to actually reach. But either way, let's sit here for a turn. I think it's okay. And with our newly acquired food, probably should make some deals. Um, let's see if anyone wants to pay me handsomely for a bit of food. Spare some food. You yeah, need you need ten food. We're gonna be four, five point oh, six point oh. Look at that. Um, that's not a lot of money you have, though. That's never worth it. Hey, donkey in chat. Hello, Tabaka. Um. Wait, what? Hundred fervor, so he will lose it if he moves out. No, it'll just it'll just rebel, and then the garrison will deal the rebellion. Actually, if you look at the map of Europe, the Netherlands is to the left, so Donkey isn't right. Donkey had the absolute gall to call himself to be right. What? 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 What did I? What? What are you talking about? Um. Okay. Anyone want some some food? I've already got a food deal with you, Liu Biao. You need food. I don't really want minor factions though. Like only only major factions will pay you decently. He's not going to pay you much though. One point six. That's actually not too bad. How much food do you need? Um, wherever it stops being 0.5, I guess. So right there. So he needs five food. All right. How much are you gonna give me for five food? Uh, 107 bucks for five. It's. I mean, I'll keep it in the back of my mind. 107 for Ma Tang. But it's not a great deal, honestly. It's not very good. What about you? Oh, you got marriages. We can do. We can, uh, get, no, I don't want to fucking give a marriage. Get the fuck out of here. Um, you want seven food. And, oh, you got, you're even more poor. What's going on with all these people? No, get out of here. Disgusting. Kong Rong, you're equal money-wise, and you need food. How much food do you actually need? Let's say, like, five or something. Just try it out. Oh, five is exactly what he needs. Okay. Wait, actually, my, no, it is five, yeah. Um, nope. Never fucking mind with uh, Kong Rong. Okay, so the only one we can really do, unless you're somehow really rich or something, maybe. The only one we can really do is um, is Ma Tong 107. Okay, this is actually more. All right, so I'll do Ma Tong as well then. 148 or something. There you go. 
All right, for five food. I mean, it's still not a great deal, I'm not gonna lie, but I'll, uh, I'll take it because I got plenty of food. And then we'll take Ma Tong. Ma Tong. Where the fuck are you? Oh, there we go. I'm straight over him. I'll give you five food as well. Oh, I could actually see he has five food, so yeah, I can. I don't even have to guess it. All right, and then you'll do 107, which is a pretty shitty deal, but you know what? I want one more. We do it. He will do. Oh wait, I didn't type it. He won't do it. Little bastard. Leading me on like that. Soon John needs food. Did he? Oh, he's at the top, isn't he? Soon John. Wait, where? The, there he is. He's poor and rich. Hmm. He has seven, so he wants. He only wants free, or he's only going to value free. But he's not going to give me any money. Fucking liar! You're banned, Pranov. Someone should do another total war and another to. Wait, should do a to another total war in a total war game? What the fuck do you mean? What are you talking about, you little bastard? Huh? How dare you say something like that about backing up whatever the fuck you're saying? We're making a decent amount of money. We actually don't have that much money anymore, but I am building up two towns right now, so I suppose that makes sense. Got ourselves a rebellion in the south. I still don't know what Tsunami was talking about either, with about the Netherlands being to the left and stuff. I don't even know what I said to make him triggered. Or to trigger him into saying that. Rebellion imminent in Ye. Yeah. yeah, right. Um, and then we got a rebellion, and then we have some random folk. Oh boy, this guy's got 60 points. What the fuck's going on here? He's brilliant, ambitious, and careless. Ugh. Careless kind of ruins him almost, and also increased desire from a penalty from desire for higher office. He's level 3 already as well. Increased ambition, eh, whatever. Jesus. And then Brilliant also increases ambition to gain independence, but that's not really a big deal. So, I mean, he gets 60 points though. It's fucking mad. Like, why? Who is this guy? <laughs> Surely he's gonna get his own unique character at some point, or a unique portrait, because he has, he's better than most unique characters. Like, what the fuck? He's kind of in the wrong area here, but just the fact that he's brilliant makes me want to hire him. Honestly. What about you? Are you also fucking insane? No, you're just a regular... You see, you've got some... Jesus Christ. you got some decent level ups here, at least. Who the hell is Young Wan? Tell me, guys. Go to war with everyone in a Total War game. Oh. Wait. No. I think you're just... You're talking about this is Total War. Fucking Jesus Christ. You're talking about the this is Total War challenge. If you go... If you... Whenever you meet someone, you have to declare war on them. That's... That's called the This is Total War Challenge. Anyway, um, this guy's insane. I, I'm kind of tempted to hire him, but I already have Gorgia as well, and I'm not. I don't even. I can't even have a second army, so I guess I'm not going to get him. I want to pay upkeep for him for a long time. All right, we'll build that, and then the army is well enough replenished that I think I'll go on the offensive. I'll try and take this. Hopefully, I can reach it next turn. I'm not in my own territory right now, so I don't get a, uh, the movement bonus. Oh, I still replenish pretty decently, actually. In fact, I'm going to be. Almost fully replenished. Whatever. Why are you being so angry? Is that fireworks? It is fireworks, yeah. No, no, it's uh, World War Three, actually. Okay, can you not go take... Oh, you can't reach, so... Well, you might stand in my way, though. The f cheeky shit. Um, I'm building stuff. I've already sold the food and everything. I think we'll just move on. How are the holidays for everyone? For me, they were fine. Except when my internet decided to stop working and I couldn't stream. That was shit. Yeah, there's loads of fireworks going off right now. I don't know how it is in other countries, but in the Netherlands, like, cause fireworks are banned throughout the year. Only, technically it's banned right now as well. You're only allowed to use them from 6 o'clock in the evening. So three hours from now. But everyone fucking does it like a week in advance and it pisses, it pisses me off. Like, especially because I have a dog. Well, not here, but my parents have him now. And, um, like, he's getting... The older he gets, the more scared he gets as well. And it's just it's just sad. It's like, it's not fireworks, you know? People are just blowing... It's it's almost like bombs. They're not, like, they're not like actual fireworks. They're not, you know, looking pretty and stuff. It's literally just a fucking explosion for the sake of an explosion, you know? And it's just annoying. Holy shit. PHP, is that Filipino pesos? 50, which is about... <laughs> I mean, that's less than a euro, but I appreciate a tariff flare. My girlfriend is Filipina. 
Filip well, Filipino, but she's a Filipino. Um, so I know the uh, exchange rate is about 60 to 1. But I appreciate it, dude. Boost my economy in the game. <laughs> We're doing alright. People put fireworks at Christmas in Belgium, which is dumb, but now, for now, no fireworks yet. Oh, really? Okay. The city's fireworks show is next to my house, and my dog's used to it. Okay, well, here it's like, you know, only around Christmas or around um, New Year's Eve, and everyone gets to buy their own fireworks and shit, and everyone just fucking, you know, blows shit up. But again, it's it's mostly just those explosions, and I just don't understand, like, the appeal of that. I'm just gonna always that one. We've got friends as well. Um, oh no, we didn't actually. He didn't join. What the fuck? What a bastard. He didn't even join me. Um, yeah, it's just it's just explosions for explosions' sake, and it, it annoys me, but oh well. If I can get there next turn, I'm sure it looks like I can. I'm just going to keep going here, going on a rampage. Although this will rebel pretty rapidly, and I there's nothing I can do. About, like this, the garrison one here won't be able to hold here, I think. But yeah, we'll see. Um, you were going, yeah, we're going to go that way because we want to get hail of arrows as soon as possible. One more level up. I wish I could give more, but yeah, spend all my savings on Steam. <laughs> nah, that's all right, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate all donations, dude. Um, and my, my girlfriend will be happy to hear that a Filipino uh, gave me 50 Filipino pesos. So you made her happy too. Um, right, okay. Well, yeah, that's that's about all I can do, really. I can actually can build something. Uh, yeah, I can handle the food from that too. So there's one rebellion here, one rebellion here. I think this one, he might just deal with it for me, I'm not sure. Um, and then we're, yeah, hopefully he's just going to keep going towards where I'm going and I'm just going to take everything just ahead of him. I, I might even buy this one off of him at some point. In fact, let's just see how much he would need for that. Um, how about I take... No, not that one. Uh, this one. How much would that be? 43. Ooh, that's, uh, that's going to be painful. That's going to be rough to do that. I got some decent stuff I could give, but for now that's not worth it. What about the other one? What is this? This is the farmland of Liu Chong. Because that would also connect me, so that would be good. Although it's a farmland, so it'll value it quite highly. God damn it. Um, was it that one? Yeah, it was that one. What did I say? Yeah, I said farmland of Liu Chong is unpinged that, that I was supposed to be looking at. 31. I think I could probably buy that one. I don't know if I want to do it right now. This axe I'll never use. This I'll never use. I would use these two, but they are quite valuable. So let's just see what it would be like. like all right, I could definitely give him some of the other stuff, but let's just have a look. 9.2. He's minus 70 in food. Oh my god, he needs food desperately. Oh boy, I could get... Oh boy, I could get this very easily. Um, hold on. Because, yeah. Uh, he really desperately wants... 17 food. I am building stuff though, so I don't really want to give him all my food. I can take away these two though. And then still... Like 14 food. He's valuing it way higher than I'm ex I was expecting. That leaves me with uh, 5 food, which isn't enough for the free towns I'm building. But I'm willing to bet I can get more food before then. I'm build I think I'm building some food stuff as well. Um, hmm. I can definitely give him another and God, my food is so valued though. I really want. Um, wait, hold on. Join my parents in Tenerife sounds like a euphemism. Oh, hold on, did someone say that? My dog joined my parents in Tenerife, but I remember him freaking out like crazy two years ago. It was kind of sad to see. Yeah. Um, okay, yeah, that thing, for example, and these ones for sure, I don't give a fuck about, so I'll gladly give one of those instead of. Uh, I guess instead of the fish, I'll get, I'll get that one instead. Um, the rest is all, you know, somewhat useful at least. Okay, so I can do that, and then I can... Well, I could probably still give, let's say, like... Yeah, let's do 12. No, let's see how, do we give me any money for it as well? No. How about, like, instant money? Is that okay for you? You're not, you're not particularly rich, so not really. But I'll still take that to 75. Alright, so I give him a bunch of shitty ancillaries that I would never use. Uh, 13 food. And I get a farmland out of it, by the way. I didn't think about that, but I get a farmland out of it, which is going to provide a bunch of food as well, especially because it's going to finish off my province. 
Boy, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good deal. Uh, in fact, I could probably give him more food for more money, but he doesn't have that much money. Let's give him like one more and up this by a couple hundred. Yeah, that's pretty good. I gave him like 300 bucks more. Yeah. Or maybe I'd reduce that and i get rid of one of these feather fans just because it gives me better negotiation op options. How much was that? Yeah, I think that's okay. 250. Eh. He doesn't value the first like yeah i get I, I would lose like quite a bit of money yeah it's probably still worth it 165 fuck yeah let's get rid of a feather fan all right let's do it i could almost just get rid of this and then get rid of that as well but then i need to give him 0.4 or something so i need to give him my money instead which is probably gonna end up being more than i want to do i don't have that much money right now i'm making two grand a turn though fuck it let's just do this deal so give me your fucking farm you son of a gun all right and that gave me Quite a bit more food, I can already tell, because I'm still on 12. Don't actually know how much I actually got out of it, but... Um, well, it's 4... And it's only level 2, so I can upgrade it to 4 plus 75% uh, of that. So, like, 7 or something. Pretty good. Pretty good indeed. I'm happy with that deal. i still like to buy this place from him at some point. Especially because it's going to be more difficult to deal with rebellions here, but... In fact, I probably should have bought... I just realized this, of course, because I, I didn't realize how low his food was. I probably should have bought that place instead. But he's probably going to spend more food, and then in 10 turns, I'll need food again, so I can just do it then anyway. Um, I see the donkey's a rice dealer. Look how long low some YouTubers step just to survive. <laughs> you know what? My girlfriend in the Philippines actually has some rice fields. Like, she owns rice fields. Apparently, it's a fairly common thing to do. Um... Like they're not worth much or anything. It's like she gets much money from it, but you know, because the economy there is completely different. But still, it's interesting. Um, Yellow Turban, do they lose zeal per turn for each brother gone? Uh, interesting, because like, yeah, they lose zeal per turn for each brother. So I don't quite know if they still lose... Um, if they lose less seal per turn because the brothers are dead. I don't quite know how that works. Also, I'm pretty sure the Liu Hong Emperor stuff's uh, changing right now. Because that turned to quite a while on uh, Liu Hong. So I'm not sure. I think I think some shit may have happened. We'll find out. Is he going to... Living in harmony. I'm wondering if he's still going to witness... Um... He's still alive. I mean, like, witness the, uh, the, the the getting rid of all the other turbans. There's still four towns to take, though, so I don't know. Okay, first thing I want to know, can I reach that place? Oh, yeah, easily. Sweet. It's a lumber yard, though, so it's going to be more difficult to take. Oh, boy. There's no one there that I want. So that's unfortunate. Who? Uh, I mean, if there's someone here that's unique, I'm, I might be tempted. Like, 30 points. But so far, it's all a bunch of shit. Yep, get the fuck out of my face. Uh, living in harmony is just some relationship stuff. Whatever the, whatever the fuck, dude. Um, yeah, already going down with 21 from the garrison, so it's going to go down pretty rapidly. Could exempt it, probably. Yeah, it's probably not even a big deal, to be honest. All right, let's go take this lumber yard for now, though. Oh, he, okay, he's skipping past it. He's like, he's on to me now. He knows what, what the fuck I'm doing. Taking all the towns away from him. Yeah, I'm not going to fight that one. Shouldn't lose too much there. Nope, that was way better than I expected, actually. Fully replenished, no problem. Um, so yeah, he's skipping past me to take this place, but then I guess I'll, guess I'll skip past him to take these ones. But then I'm, again, not bordering my own shit, but I could probably buy that one off him at some point. Especially if he's, if he's running into more and more food problems. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, character experience for the army is pretty, pretty okay. The income from commerce and stuff is irrelevant because he's, he's my leader, he's not going to be an administrator. I could also start going for here, so I can get an extra army, which is not bad, but I really don't want to get this on him, generally. Um, I guess that's okay. We want to go for that one at some point, too, an inspiring surge, so we do want to go that way. But this is, it's 8 cunning, and it's a character experience, which isn't bad. Uh, avoiding ambush, I don't give a fuck about avoiding, or escape... Uh, post battle pretty irrelevant because I never fucking lose <laughs> um, yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna just do this 
I'll pick, I'll pick this one up on the other guy, on Gorgia, even though it sucks for him as well to pick it up, but still. Um, yeah, we'll go for scholarship. He, he's, my, he's, you know, he's a fucking mentor, you know, it makes sense to go for scholarship. Also, I can't believe I have nothing for you here yet. Um, okay, can I even reach this next turn? No, I can't. Okay, so he's gonna, t he's gonna attack it next turn, but that's okay with me. And then, yeah, this place is gonna rebel as well. And this is Yanmen, which is Xiang Yan's territory. So, I could also just at this point be like, yeah, you go deal with that. And then together with um, Liu Bei and this guy over here, you guys can deal with that. And I'll just go west, which isn't a terrible idea, really. But for now, I'll be doing nothing of the sort. Uh, I will just look at quick diplomacy and quick deals. I don't think so. Still got all of the trade. We can get military access with Kong Rong. No. No, we can't. Uh, Han Empire, is that worth anything yet? 1.8? Maybe? Nope. Definitely not. Okay. Uh, are we, we must be getting pretty close. Uh, not really. It's the second marquee I was going to say, but no. Fuck that noise. We want to get this, but I don't, Oh, wait. No, that's not that one. This one? Wait. This one. Yes. Okay, but we can't do that until we get this done. I was going to say, because this is level 2, I can get that to level 3. But i got to get this done first, and I'm not going to spend 3333 on that. Okay. Um, yeah, keep keep that away from, from the chat. Tabaka, please. Also, hey, it's Storm Fury. Hey, you guys. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to, to you too, man, in fucking nine and a half hours. Also, we had some rebellions happening. When are they going to attack us? Because that's, that's been going for a little while now. I'm, gonna, I'm starting to wor get worried that these armies might be bigger than I intended. Yeah, that one's already much larger than the initial one that we saw. This has just become level five, though, which I don't know how much that helps in settlement defense, but it should be okay, if anything. Um... Upgrading this doesn't help or, or anything, so there's no point doing that. What we are going to do here, since this is food and we actually haven't got the right food building yet, is going to build this government support thing. Liu Chong declared war on Kong wrong. What the fuck? Didn't expect that to happen. Liu Hong? Wait, what? That must be a different Liu Hong, right? Yeah, that's a different flag. Okay, I was going to say. Uh, we have a rebellion imminent in Anping, which is just over here. Yeah, whatever, it'll be fine. Hopefully. Soon John's got a new capital. Interesting. And then we yeah, we got the town leveled up. We've already done that. Okay, cool. So I can get more food, which is pretty useful, because it looks like we're gonna go for the uh, buying land with food deal thing. So I'm gonna go for that. We've gone we're on seventeen food right now, but of course we're giving away seventeen as well. So I wanna keep going, but on the other hand, I am seriously considering now maybe I shouldn't. Although he's taken that. From Liu Bei. Okay, so uh, you, you know what? I think knowing that his army is there and knowing that this guy's army is here, I think I run back and I'm basically fully replenished, so I'm willing to do this fast as fuck. Through his territory. Would have been nice if I could see what's there, but yeah. Oh, oh, he's gone over here. Wait, so he's not attacking this. Well, it's, it's probably still fine to deal with this first. Because he might come and attack me in Anping. So I can deal with this and then go up that way regardless. I think that's fine. I'm not going to go after... Um, Zhang Yan yet. We're currently selling him food anyway, so I don't think he uh, has any intention of attacking me right now. I do wonder if he would take... He wouldn't, no, he won't do that. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're just gonna wait. Wait and see. I got no buildings to build. Fucking pink color thing is showing me stuff that's happening. is pissing me off. You're pissing me off, man! Alright. Fucking minus 37, Jesus Christ. Fervor and faction support, hang on. The faction support's gonna go away, but it'll be a while. When are you leveling up? You must be getting relatively close now. Eh, not for a while still. I need to get that so I can get another fucking army. I'm probably gonna be second marquee before it happens though, I imagine. 25 more points. Well, we'll see. Playing my first 3k campaign, is there an advantage to bigot food food surplus like we had in Shogun, or is it that you could sell it? Um, you get more income from... Peasantry, was it, I think? 
I think that's what it was. Income from peasantry. I'm not entirely sure. I can show you in a second. Um, is it telling me we have rebellion incoming here? No, not yet. I do probably want to exempt these places from tax, though. Yuan Yi declared war on Han Sui. Okay, I think it's replenishment, too. Uh, yeah, it says it right there. Income from peasantry and reserves. Uh, so not re not replenishment. Although it, maybe it gets replenishment when, it, when you get even more, but I'm not entirely sure. Imminent in year. Okay, that's over there. They're not replenishing any further, so if they were to attack right now, we probably would have some problems with it, but... The garrison's no, not wounded or anything now, so that's good. And there's a rebellion on Ping. Anyone new? Dan Xiang. Nope, sort of random fucking twats. And I built a building. Good. I do like some buildings every once in a while. They're pretty good. They do what they say on the tin. Alright, get out of here. So we're going to go towards Bohai. Um, do I move... The long way around for my own territory. I could probably still reach it in a single turn anyway, so I think that makes sense. Yeah, I can easily get there. There's nothing there though, and it's a level three town, so it'll be one that I can pick up easily. Oh, his army's over here now because he's just taken that, which means he might come back, but or he might just attack this over here now. Man, Li Bei's gonna get fucked soon. What the fuck's going on? I was gonna chase him and take all the towns. This might not even be fully replenished yet. No, it will be next turn, but that's okay. Um, how long are you going to be streaming for? For another hour and a half or so. Because that way I have about three hours exactly left over for my final stream on this embargo. And then on the 9th of January I'm allowed to stream as much as I want. But tomorrow and the 2nd of January I'll be streaming on the official Total War Twitch channel. So on the 3rd or 4th or something I'll be streaming this again on my own channel. And then it'll be done. You know what? Not, not being able to recruit a second army is kind of... Oh, there's an army in there, that's good. Um, it's kind of interesting, it's kind of good in a way, because while I, I, you know, as long as I can deal with the rebellions, I don't have I don't have a need for a second army really, and I'm making quite a bit of money, okay, so they're attacking me now. As far as I'm aware though, they didn't actually replenish anymore. No. Let's see what this is like though, in a second. You want to declared war on Kong Rong, what the fuck's Kong Rong ever done to you? Jesus. And we built a city here, okay. That doesn't fuck up the game. No, the garrison stays the same, so it doesn't do anything. Um, so here we want to get the Confucian Shrine. Yeah, that's a pretty good building. Okay, so what is this like right now? Can I auto resolve this? No, it'll be a crushing defeat. Oh boy. I think we got to wait for them to attack us and then hope that we can deal with it. If they siege me out, how long until I take attrition? Oh boy, only one turn. Oh boy, do I run that way instead? I can't recruit another army. Hold on. No, it wouldn't help. I was gonna say, I could... I can't even get there next turn, I think. I can attack this right now, get them out of my way. There's so much shit I can do here right now. Um, hold on. Do we have any... Can I be like, yo, can you please help me out here? No, because it's not an alliance or something. Well, it is an alliance, but I guess I don't have the option to do that. Is it because we don't have any we don't have any enemies together? Because it's just rebels. I can't tell them to attack rebels. Because so I was thinking, like, I could maybe, if I take another town or two, I can then recruit an army. Because um, I'll have enough. I'll be able to get the second marquee, right? Because I need 21 more points. But the problem is, even level... How much is this level... F this is level 5. Give 16 points. I don't know what uh, you get for, like, what level, but... I don't even know if I took... I don't even think to, taking two towns would be enough. But even if it was enough, I wouldn't be able to recruit anyone here, is the problem. I think I have to go back. Deal with this. Then sprint towards this one. Hope that I can get there next turn. And otherwise... Either they'll attack before I'm allowed to take, or before I take attrition, or they'll attack, um, or they'll like they'll siege me out for one more turn, which means I take attrition, but I'll be able to reach. So I guess I have to just I have to give up on expanding, which sucks because I really wanted to go fucking do shit here, but I got to take care of this first. So let's get them the fuck out of here. They might survive. They tend to, but I'm also where am I? <laughs> Well, he, he survived, but that's okay. Uh, I'll take the replenishment, Two, 207 bucks isn't a whole lot. 
Like the wind, bonus experience for our, um, our vanguard boy. Okay, and then we attack this one on the way, why not? I can definitely get there next turn. Okay, get out of here. They survive as well, but that's okay, because again, it gives me more happiness, so I'm okay with them surviving. Because then I'll kill the, the one that's currently a problem, and then I'll just come back and attack these ones. Uh, yeah, you, 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 you may leave us. Take the replenishment again. Oh, fucking armor disappeared again, just see that. Okay, so we can get, I can either attack this again right now, but I might as well let them build up further, right? So we'll attack this. I can get into reinforcement range next turn, which is already enough. I could sprint. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I will. Because if he, I'm not afraid of him attacking me in the field. It's not gonna happen. I'm okay with that. Um, and that way, I I can attack him next turn and get rid of him, and I can get further back this way again as well, which is good. See, so yeah, we're still getting 20 happiness per turn from all those places, so that's good. These ones, as long as I keep track of it, if I were to exempt it, it becomes well happy, so I'm not, I don't have to worry about it. As long as I get it before it would become a rebellion, it's going to be okay. Um, and then... What are you trying to tell me? It's, it's, yeah, I know it's a little bit of a garter. I have fucking eyeballs! Um, I've been playing this a lot. Some cool campaign mods that add more factions if you stream base game plus mods before the 9th. Very cool, more fun slash replayable. Uh, I'm not really planning on doing any more campaigns, plus I'm still not done with the base game anyway, so no mods for me. Oh, that's the other down. That's the downside though. I don't replenish right now, but oh well. Um, okay, I need diplomacy to be done. I already looked at this. I think uh, I'm not gonna get military access with Kong Rong because yeah, everyone fucking hates the guy. So waiting for that to run out so I can buy more territory off of him. We're gonna be... He's, he's spending all the food that I'm giving him on buildings that take more food, which is just gonna work out so well for us. Um, any big factions that need food desperately? I don't think so. Who am I currently selling food to, though, besides you? And, obviously... Because, yeah, that one's running out next turn. How much am I giving you? Two. You're, eh, you're probably not gonna... Probably not gonna be a very good deal if I get another deal with him, but it's okay. We'll see. What the fuck? I just saw my income. It's because my town is being besieged, but still. I only got 415 or something. Luckily, I've got lots of money. Um, Happy New Year, Mr... Oh, God, what is that? Is that... Is that Japanese? I can't... I don't even know. I'm sorry. But, um... Happy New Year to you. How close are you to level up? On whom? 25 away? Wait, what are we talking about? What, what, what? This many battles might give you enough XP for Luji to level up. Yeah, but I'm not going to get it on him, though, to level up. I, I'm going to... Although, yes, he, he will level up, and I could get this soon, but I'm still two level ups away. I need I need Gorgia to level up. He's on 25, 26 almost out of three. So a couple more turns, and he'll level up, and then I'll get it on him. Unless I become... Um, Second marquee first because I, I really don't want to get it on Gorgia either because it's just a waste. But being able to get free armies is actually pretty useful as well, just to have like a backup in case I need to spawn a random dude somewhere. Rebellion imminent in Hanai. What the fuck? Or Hanai even? Um, that is the place that we're dealing. Okay, okay, okay. I understand. I'm, I'm fucking. Wait, hold on. This one. This one besieged me here. Well, that's super an easy. Otherwise, all please do fuck off. Goodbye. It was nice knowing you. I'll take the money. Killed in battle. Killed in battle. All right, we got the Confucian Shrine leveled up or built even. I should probably get that to level two because that does unlock some building stuff as well. So I'm actually gonna go and go ahead and do that. And then we're gonna get rid of this shit here. I will attack with the main army. This should be, yeah, sort of part of his off. Although medium losses, never mind, I will fight this one, I guess. I could make it a night battle. They have terrible, oh man, yeah, if I did minus 50 morale, they'd be on like nine. These guys would be on six. <laughs> um, but they would survive, like they basically all run away very quickly. I don't get my garrison, but yeah, I'll happily make this a night battle. It'll be more fun. They have like no morale. <laughs> 
Let's do it. Do you like Total War Armor? Uh, not really. Um, I, again, they're great games, but I, I personally just can't really get into them. God, these units really are trash, by the way. I don't know if I should have made such a big fuss out of it. These are all peasant units. They're all trash. But the problem is that archer units, that while being terrible... Wait, I still got my... Wait, do I somehow have night battles available for my reinforcements? Why do I still get the most reinforced? I didn't... It didn't change. That, I did notice that, but I, I kind of assumed it was just kind of, of a bug or something, or maybe it just doesn't show that, but... Okay, I guess we still got our reinforcements despite making it a night battle. I'll take it. I'm not gonna complain. I ain't gonna do that complain thing. You guys are awful fucked. Yeah, it's fine, whatever. Um, just kind of sit in the middle, and then I'll have some Kyle on either side. All right, and I guess the other reinforcements will actually be quite useful. In fact, I should probably set up further back. Let's just take the entire army and go back a little bit. If I have reinforcements joining me, I might as well just make use of them, right? Get some cav as well. Fucking yes. Get over here. Um, like mostly I'm interested in the range units. Just more range units is always good. I got more. Let's just run everything up this way for now. See what else I get. You're gonna go that way. One more unit, right? Am I right? In fact, I might want to get the uh, garrison wounded before anything else. There you go. One more archer. Sweet. Okay, so we're gonna put you right there, and the crossbows back a little bit. Then I'm gonna put you, you, up front. So you're the first ones to get shots. Sacrifice them a little bit, and then oh, and did I already? Yeah, I use you as well. And then I have you. Eh. You you don't have a shield, so I'm not gonna put you up front. That would just be stupid. All right. Um, have you studied any of the actual history of the Free Kingdoms? I have not. No. I just, I just played a game. What the fuck are you guys doing over there? Where are they going? Hold on, you know what, because I... If it's just them, I'm glad I go kill them with my calf. That's too... I mean, if they've got calf with them, i got to be careful, but still. Um... Anyway... I kind of want to read up on chat a little bit too. Animation glitch, ain't seen that before, your army character was invisible in the little... Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I've, there's a couple of glitches in this DLC I've noticed, like sound keeps um, fucking up as well, where it just kind of disappears, so that's weird, but overall it's all good. Also, I don't quite know who the second character is, but there's a scholar, yeah, her, and then there's one more character, I don't know who that was though. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Also, you might as well come this way too. The spear unit? What the fuck's going on? Why did they send these random units this way? Did they just not know where my army was and they just start scouting around or something? It was a healer! Well, I'll gladly take that too. Let's get him, boys. So the spears don't turn around. Oh, with our morale. The minus 15 already making uh, big waves here. Oh, they did turn around. You know what? That's okay. I'll go deal with them with this unit. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's sad. Oh, you're a spear unit. Oh, that's oh, that's interesting. Oh boy, a spear unit, eh? A, a spear unit, huh? Well, wow, it's... Oh shit, there's an archer. Oh shit, the entire fucking army's here. Yo, uh, we did it. We, we, we did it. We did enough. That was it. That was all I needed to do there. Yeah, that spear unit's fucked, but they will survive because... Actually, no, they will be dead. I just gotta bring them down to 24 or lower. I'd like to kill her off. This is a bit too much uh, shooty stuff for me there. <laughs> she's running away, or she's running after me and routing. What the fuck? Um, if the garrison takes the brunt of it, you can move the army quicker. Yeah, it's just that the, the army replenishes faster than the garrison, so I'm not, like, completely wanting to do that specifically. But yeah, it is, it is more useful, because I'm not... That There's going to be a rebellion again soon as well, though, so we've got to keep that in mind. Like, if there's another rebellion, I need to make sure my garrison's fully replenished, so... There's a reason not to take all the damage on your garrison, either. But... It means I can move the army and force march down, so that's the other benefit of it. 
This is fucking... They're coming from a completely different angle now because they can't see my army yet. They're only seeing... Oh boy, did not mean that. Oh shit. Okay, hold on. Let's fucking do that then. Um... It's because those cows are super far away and it's kind of ruining everything. But it's okay. Still got comments to this day, by the way. I got, yesterday I got another comment, someone like... Mr. Smart Donkey, how do you do that? Also, I know I'm on a massive downhill slope, by the way, but it's okay. I probably could move a little bit further back to make it a little bit less downhill. But the, da the upside of a downhill slope is that your cavalry will get charges downhill in the back of enemy units. And isn't that worth something? You found their army. I have, yeah, it was, it was just there. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Drake. How are you doing? Or, yeah, well, yeah, how are you doing? I don't know why the fuck I was stumbling there, but... How are you doing? It's been a while since I've spoken to you. You can find a war freak in MTV or something. I know. You you wouldn't know how many times people have told me about that. And I was already watching it before they told me about it as well. Jesus Christ. Okay, can someone tell them we're here? This fucking... This, this is turning out to be much more difficult than I intended it to be. Yeah, the amount of times people have told me, oh, you know, there's a TV series out there. I'm like, yeah, I, I, I know. I'm well aware. Thank you. But, uh, you know, you gotta, you gotta stay fucking friendly. Sorry. Uh, oh, oh god, I didn't mean to... Oh, shit. Okay, well, you might be fucked. <laughs> it's, a he uh, it's a healer, yeah, we should be alright. But the problem is that he's gonna be stuck within the entire army in a minute. Look at these units almost routing from his mere... <laughs> Night battles, dude. Oh my god. Um, okay, they still can't see my army, for fuck's sake. Okay, everyone minus you. Let's just move up, then. I'll make it easier for them. Okay, we are winning, but not by much. And that's with our ability used already as well. Fucking healer, with no special abilities. She's got a fucking wooden staff. <laughs> She's somehow beating my legendary character over here. They're like chanting. That's awesome. I've never noticed that before. All right, this is weird. This whole battle is weird. The the them having only six morale for starters is just hilarious. Okay, I'm not interested in any more jewels, things. All right, I've seen my army. I am almost okay. Okay, this worked out pretty well. I could have been slightly further in position, but it's okay. The fucking quadruple line, by the way. Don't see that one very often. All right. Fire away, boys. Yeah, fire up my, uh... My garrison. God, their morale is so trash. I need to get my cav around now. Because they're going to rout in a second. <laughs> oh, this is madness, dude. Look at this. Sh look at the units routing. That morale is fucking great. It does prove that the minus 50 morale actually does work that way, like, because it, it sounds like a lot, and it's almost like one of those things where you're like, yeah, sure, game, 15 morale, yeah, whatever, whatever you say, game. But um, it looks like it actually might be true. I'm just going to get you guys all the way around and start killing everything as they get away. Plenty of shit to kill, I'll tell you. Oh, I'll tell you. Also, he's going to buff everyone once this unit got Yeah, there you go. Now he's going to buff everyone with his... Passive thing. The jewel is uh, going surprisingly slowly, though. I will say that. Okay, try and kill the units that are currently shooting me. I don't like getting shot. Just fucking charge in somewhere, honestly. Plenty of shit to murder. Okay, you've got her. Um, got her into ride as well. Um. Yeah, we just should shoot. I, this is one of those cases where I don't want anyone to lose more men on him because it's just a waste. Okay, our calf. Oh, you, okay, we're in melee here. And then they went and they immediately fucking shattered. This guy, is he unbreakable or is he just. No, he's on 60 morale now. He can break. He can fucking break this guy. You done enough to that unit yet? Not really. You've definitely done enough to that one. Brought it down to a single man. Someone's got to go back and kill this as well. And by someone, I mean the guy who just subscribed. Thanks for subscribing, dude. Um, yeah, you've, you've done more than enough there now. Get out of here. 
The fucking jewel is still going. What is happening? Okay, that guy finally gone. So it's just the jewel now. I can't believe that's actually the thing that ended up taking the longest. What the fuck? What in tarnation? There you go. Okay, kill something there. Kill that unit there. And not them. Not them. That one, sure, whatever. Get back on your high horse. And ride off into the distance. Victoriously. That unit's gone. I think I'm gonna be able to kill everything here, except for maybe him. This guy's gone as well. It might be just him that survives, but that would be okay. Although there will be another rebellion soon, so I don't quite know how that's gonna work out. That unit's already gone as well. That one's still alive, but we're already killing it. Everything here is gone. That's all dead. Yep. So it's just that unit, which is gone. And the general that you were chasing. And still are. Are you gonna be able to kill him? No, you're definitely not, because he's gone. Alright, well... Not too bad. That morale drop. Yeah, I know, that was mad. All good, mate. Been hiding in the background, letting you get on with things and enjoying the content as always. Thanks, dude. I appreciate it. Um, I like to play with my Wii. That's, you know, that's totally fine. Wiis are fun. I played with a Wii a, a lot when I was younger. Um, might have just reconsider charging randomly at a full organized army at night as an idea not worth pursuing. <laughs> I should have probably considered, you know. There might be other options, other venues to victory. Um, okay, that was a pretty good trade. I will take the replenishment again. So we do have to unfortunately chase him a tiny bit just to kill him off. It's still gonna fuck it. Minus 35 from Azur. Oh, because we ran... Oh, of course. I guess I could exempt it for a turn. Just to make sure it doesn't rebel. Oh god, that brings us to minus 5, which fucks up our reserve, so it's still gonna rebel. Well, I guess it's gonna rebel. Fuck it. it he just fucking survived. But he died. Does he die anyway? Does he have the white flag? Oh, okay, that works. I would like to let him go, but I don't want him to survive, so... I'll take the 2% replenishment from the one guy we just executed. How does that work? We got revivals of the guy who just died as well. Okay. Very very good to know. It's all very helpful information. Diviner. Plus three morale when commanding. Well, you're not commanding. Um, I might give that to the boy who is actually 42 years old already. Six cunning, six of 40. I mean, it's good for him too. It's six cunning, if anything. Um, but, I mean, it definitely makes more sense on him. But no, we'll, we'll give it to you. Knowledge of Heaven. Hold on, do we have any of these things? No and no. Character experience faction-wide, income from all sources faction-wide. Okay, we definitely want... We don't have a clay dog. How the fuck have we not got a clay dog? Dog. That's pretty good as well. It's a wooden dog. Of course it is. Of course it's a wooden dog. Alright, so this place is going to rebel again. There's no point exempting it from tax because it's going to be minus 24, but then we, we're still out of supplies afterwards, so we're not fixing anything. So you're just going to come up this way again. Holy shit! It's ten bucks from the blind gym. Gotta love the donkey, he says. And and then my my thing is lagging behind, obviously, so it, it's not popping up on stream yet. But thank you so much, the blind gym. I appreciate it. I'm also turning blind because my fucking eye is filling up. <laughs> I'm crying. There it is. Satisfactory as well, or for sure, even. Thank you so much for the ten bucks, dude. I appreciate it. Um... We got some dollarinas today. We got some Filipino pesos. Um, right. Okay. What the fuck am I am I to do here? Should I run? I think replenishment is definitely something I would like to get. Um, but I also want to get up here sooner rather than later. Then it's, there's also a rebellion happening here. But I think I'm gonna let it build up. Hopefully this replenishes in time. Oh, it definitely will. This is the only unit that's kind of fucked. But oh my god, that's a lot of replenishment. <laughs> Holy shit. Um. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna sprint. Yeah. Although I can't... I'm kind of wasting movement because I have to go around this army, but... Eh, it's fine. I lose the replenishment, but I'll, I'll move normally next turn or the turn after to get some replenishment. Don't go blind. I got it for you. <laughs> Alright, man. Thanks, dude. Um... Okay, we're making our two grand again. Now that we're not being besieged anymore. We're too useful. We're not able to build anything. Um... 
Let's make sure we don't have rebellions happening, but we'll be okay. I have some food that I could potentially sell, but I think I'm mostly going to hang on and just sell to Liu Chong. Oh, he's actually got one food now. Plus, well, I mean, that's my 17 still, but he's not as low as he was. So he might be upgrading some food stuff, which is not good. Bohai is being besieged by a good faction. 89 minutes, big brain. What? How long have you been streaming? I'm going, oh shit. Let's go international and have some pounds. Get a drink on me. Thank you, Drag UK, for the ten. I mean, you're already a. I mean, you're already a patron too, and now you the ten pound as well. I appreciate it. Here's the drink. Although you obviously mean an actual drink. A most satisfactory end to our discussion. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate it. It's a good New Year's Day. Um, blood runs thicker. Oh shit! This is the the thing. Lu Bu, uh, a warrior of rapidly growing reputation in society, his current master is not worthy of his service. Tempted by offers of wealth and glory, he gives their head and lands to Dong Zhou. Alright, so Dong Zhou confederates Ding Yuan. Isn't that the guy just over here? No, that's Bian Chang. Ding, Ding Yuan is somewhere over here, because he's, yeah, he's got this stuff now. I'm pretty sure that might have been it. Um, okay, yeah, that's great. Dong Zhou and Ding Yuan confederation. Cool. Rebellion in Hanai happening. Oh, so it didn't rebel yet, so I could actually exempt it and make it... Oh no, but then there's still the minus food problem. So it's just gonna rebel. Fuck it. It's fine. Uh, yes, let's do normal movement. Let's get rid of this army. Fight night battle. Yeah, I get it again. How does that work? Uh, I'll delegate this one. Get out of here. Wow, that was pretty good. Uh, I'll take the money this time around. Although I could use the replenishment, but it's kind of quite a, quite a bit of money to lose out on otherwise. Um, okay, so I can, oh no, Bohai's been taken. Fuck, having to go back down that way kind of lost me a town. Patrons unite. Wait, are you a patron as well, the blind Jim? You might. I just I can't remember everyone. I, I mostly I just remember the people that are also on Discord. Could you make some faction overview for Rome 2 and Attila? I could, but I won't, I'm afraid. Um, I have no, like I, I, the reason I can do them on Shogun 2 and also on Free Kingdoms is because I'm putting in so many hours into those games because I love them. Rome 2 and Attila, I've played a decent bit, but years ago, and I don't know enough about those games to you know, be able to talk in depth about mechanics and all that. I'm just gonna sit in town and replenish for now. Um, like that's I for me that's like the main thing I I, I integrity is pretty important to me uh, when it comes to that kind of stuff and I refuse to make a video on something I don't know a ton of stuff about right like if I do a top five that's why I haven't done a top five best units in Free Kingdoms yet because I still haven't used all the units extensively enough for my personal like requirements to be able to do a video on it I want to know everything about every single unit wait what the fuck we have way more room left over. I thought we did, but it was, okay, it was kind of bugging out then. Well, we still can't get, and this is already being besieged as well, so I guess, I mean, I might still run up that way and take some more towns, but for the moment, I think we'll just park in here, get some replenishment, and then we'll attack, we'll move up this way soon. That's being besieged as well, so there's only two towns left that I could even get to, if I can even get there on time. But we'll wait for now. Check out Legend Total War if you like this game. Yeah, Legend plays, although he, he I think he's mostly playing Warmer nowadays, isn't he? But yeah, he's, he's done a lot of st that stuff. But like, yeah, faction overviews and stuff, I, I will only really do on Shogun 2 and on Free Kingdoms. Or, 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 you know, if I end up loving Troy somehow, then yeah, I'll do it on Troy as well. But I don't see that happening. I'm sure I'll play it a decent bit, but I don't think it's going to take over Free Kingdoms for me. I think this, as far as longevity goes, is going to be my new to my new Shogun 2. It's just not, you know, my, my audience hasn't quite adjusted to Free Kingdoms yet, but hopefully with as, as the game gets better and better, people will also be more interested in this. Um, as opposed to uh, sh only wanting to watch Shogun 2. I guess this guy taking these towns is okay, because again, I could take him off of him at some point in some good old deals. Um, right, let's end turn, shall we? Just kind of sitting here doing fuck all. Glad your internet is back in action. Yeah, I, I am I'm also glad about that. Thank you. My nose is also not back in action. It's back in action with sniffling, so. Uh, 
Um, do you know your history on Shogun? So, do you know your history on Shogun 2 and Fallout Samurai? Um, not really, like, history-wise. I'm not, like, I'm not, like, a history buff or anything when it comes to any any of the Total War games or any, any part of history, really. Like, I know the basic stuff, and just from playing Shogun 2 and people always commenting over the years telling me certain things about specific characters, I learn some stuff, but I'm not, like... I don't know anything specifically about the history, but I want to know everything about mechanics before I make a video, so... Like, clan review-wise for Shogun 2, I know just about every, any everything there is to know gameplay-wise in Shogun 2 for me to make, like, um, how do you call that? Like, educated videos, basically. Like, not some, not, not, not just rambling, you know? There's a lot of people that make videos and they just kind of say whatever they feel like saying, you know? And also, I just realized something. Hold on. No, how did no one ever say this? Um... This thing is kind of in the way. There, I moved it down a little bit. Of the icons there. Um, like there's a lot of people making videos about stuff that, and you can clearly tell they haven't done their research, but they're doing it for views or something. And I just, I wanna, if I make a video on something, I wanna make sure that I make the best video I can make and I don't look like an idiot, you know. The imp impiety of Dong Zhou. Many great virtues are demanded of those deemed fit to rule. When someone lacking virtues takes control, only chaos can ensue. This Dong Zhou is such a person and it would be calamity to the state if he were allowed in the capital. Oof. I don't think we saw that um, pop up last time with uh, Liu Chong. Rebellion here. Okay. Yeah, there you go. We'll deal with it. I don't want you. Rebellion happening in Zhongxia. Okay, so this place is going to have to get exempted now. Um, missing out on free food. Yeah, it's not a big deal. Um, yeah, a little bit of money, but whatever. This place, oh boy, that's one away if I let it go. And it might, I might just get an extra minus one from something. So let's make sure it doesn't rebel. Uh, and then over here, we're going to be able to Confucian temples as well to lower the fervor in the local commandery. Um, yeah, actually, no, hold on. I want to get this first, I think. Eh, this takes, nah, it takes one turn. Let's put that first. And the farm laborer camp, we'll get this upgraded as well. Probably gets, let's get this 75% now. Okay, and then you, so that's been taken, oh, that was by uh, Liu Bei, okay. And that was being besieged, but is no longer, so that must have obviously either, well, it didn't beat them back, but it just kind of gave up on the siege. Maybe an army coming over or something, I have no idea. Either way, did we get some more food right now? Another 25% food from farming. I think we do. Um, I do want to go down all this stuff, but again, it's not a whole lot there for us yet, so we'll get the extra food, make even better deals soon. Army is mostly replenished now. If I go through their territory, I will replenish on the way. I can get there next turn, although it's, well, it says I can. I don't know if I actually can, because it, currently I can, but if I move from this territory, I'm not sure if I will be able to still. I could um, force march, but I don't know what's over there, and that could be very painful. I'm still going to move that way, though, and we'll just take that one, that one, that one, if we can. Although, this is level 3. Hmm, I didn't consider that. If I force march, I'll definitely be able to get to either town next turn. Like, even that one, and then move east instead, and just skip over this one for now. But, there might be an army there, and I can almost guarantee there is, because... This was taken recently by them, and then it got taken by Liu Bei, but I don't know if there was an army in there that Liu Bei had killed or not. I don't have enough information is the problem. Like, Force March is a risky move. Because if there's a full stack that's going to attack me, I could be... F yeah, I'm not going to take the risk. It probably is worth doing, but I'm not going to. <sighs> Sorry, my nose. Um, all right. Sounds good. No diplomacy stuff to be done yet, so. Hello, Karyu and Mina. How are you doing? Um, hello, Vu Dong Hai as well. Respectable, that kind of integrity must be hard when views are what pay for you to live, though. Yeah, like, it, but it's always, it's always the thing, like, I, I have, I hold myself to a certain standard, right? And, um, so, let me start this off by saying that I respect Legend Total War, a lot and he's been really helpful to me and everything um so no like nothing bad about him as a person but when he started doing top five videos um i think he he did improve over time but his first one i think was his like top five best total war games and all he had was just him talking 
no editing or anything, no script or whatever. It was just him talking. Um, and then he had, for every game that he was talking about, he just had the trailer. Or, no, I think they, not even a trailer. It was just a logo or something running in the background. So, like, basically no effort whatsoever. And he got tons and tons of views because, you know, it's Legend of Total War. People care about that kind of stuff. Um, but I can't do that. I can't bring myself to do those kinds of videos. And, I'm I, again, I'm pretty sure he improved over time. But I'm they're still mostly, like, you know, unscripted, just him talking with n minimal effort in editing. And he gets tons and tons of views, but I can't bring myself to make those kinds of videos. When I do uh, a top five video or a client overview, whatever, I, I I write the script first, and I talk in, and, you know, I, I record that script, and I don't want any mistakes or anything. I if I make a mistake, I redo it, etc. Um, you know, in terms of editing, I try to always have something play in the background that is relevant to what I'm talking about at that particular moment in time. So I try to, you know, I try to have a certain quality in my videos, and I'm sure I could pump out way more videos if I had lower quality standards. But then I wouldn't be proud of my work, right? I want to be able to say, I want to be able to, you know, show this and be like, this is this. I put a lot of effort into this, and this is this was, you know, it was worth it for me. So, you know, that's the kind of thing I always have to deal with um, personally. But for me, that's just, you know, I, I just I can't do it any other way. I just I don't want to do it any other way. So. There you go. Let's build that up now. There's nothing wrong with that. You do what you do. Yeah, exactly. And that's what I mean. Like, Legend does what he does, and it's successful for him, too. And, you know, I'm not going to say that that's a bad way of doing it. No, not at all. If It's clearly worked for him well, quite well. All right, let's see. Is there an army in there? Okay, there is. It's led by He Yi, in fact. Plus the garrison. That's a, it's a good thing I didn't run in that case. Uh, makes me wonder if I should just kind of be like, yo, you can have that. I'm going to take your horse pastures instead. Because I don't really have any risk of... Uh, I do, actually. I was going to say, I have no risk of losing anything here, but I do, because that's actually mine. That's mine! Um, if I siege him out, it's going to take fucking ages, though, isn't it? But probably still worth doing. What's his army like? Chosen of the Eight Immortals, Springs of Peace. Beyond that, it's just regular stuff, except poachers, which have... Poultry armor. <laughs> I thought they were the guys with poison arrows, but I guess not. No, that's the Yuzhu Yuzhuai something. I can't remember the name. Something like that. Let's just siege him out. Fuck it. Uh, one turn until you start taking attrition. Fair enough. Let's do some of that. And I might want to sap right away. No, it's fine. Continue to siege. Never run. Just walk slowly. Exactly. Walk slowly. Um, AI Emperor faction will dissolve despite the victory. If you have met too many front, why not create a new army you take most domestic tech tree? What do you mean exactly? Could have been worse than been poultry armor. <laughs> Wait, what was it? What was the actual name? Paltry, okay. Um, uh, can't wait for a new Mountain Blade. Feels like it will never happen. It's coming out in a couple... Well, it's going into beta in a couple months, isn't it? Or something? I can't even remember. Um, you may look like an idiot, but just like Fire Rocket, you'll make up for it. Exactly. Like, in that first video, I, I already... Like, the worst um, units in Shogun 2, I made mistakes. And then I... I after that, I, I, I wanted to shore up my game even further, which is why I haven't made any kind of video like that on this game yet, except for Top 5 Most Explosive, because it's just, you know, whatever fucking explodes the most. Please sub my channel, guys. I need support. I like you. The message got blocked. I'm gonna hide it. He said earlier as well. Hold on, I'm gonna see. He said like, can I find this message still? Um, was it that long ago? Uh, whatever. He said something like, "Can I please get a shout out?" I'm like, didn't even want, don't even want to read it on 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 camera. Um, let's build. Let's build this one up. And then I got nothing else to build, so there you go. It's like, what, three more turns before your food runs out? Two more turns, okay. It's gonna be great. I'm hopefully gonna be able to buy another town off of him. I should probably have a look though, again, if there's anyone else that needs food desperately, because I have a little bit in reserve. Once I sell it to him, I have plenty again, because I'm gonna get 14 back from him, but I can sell back to him. There's quite a few very poors in here, but again, I'm only really caring about the main ones, the main factions. I could do, um, you're very poor, but also poor on income, so I guess we'll see what you have. Mm. 
You have four, so I'll give you six. How much will you give me for that? I don't really want to be friends with him, but six food for 191. It's not a great deal, but it's not terrible. We don't fucking hate it. What? What's going on with Kong Rong over here, man? Treaties are enemies. I mean... Dude, it's not my fucking fault. Everyone hates you for some reason. I was going to war with you. It's because you're not part of the alliance, man. Which is going to crumble in a minute, by the way, but still. Test the Tur season of the turkey. Yeah, I, I had turkey the other day. Uh, for Christmas. Okay, I didn't actually expect them to sell you out here. Um, they have no cav. That's really good. Yeah, two more bringers a piece in there. Yeah, we've seen this army before. Alright, let's do it. Yeah, we had turkey the other day. Um, my mom bought a turkey. It was three and a half kilos. We were There was only six of us as well. It was way, way, way too much. Um, it cost her, I think she said 135 euros or something. It was like a turkey that had a chicken inside of it, like filling basically, and inside the chicken was a, was duck or something like that. And it was her first time making a turkey as well, so it didn't, you know, it wasn't perfect. Basically the duck inside was still raw. <laughs> What's that meme from, uh, <laughs> from Gordon Ramsay? Isn't that like the duck is fucking raw or something? I don't remember, but um... Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't perfect, but it was actually fairly tasty. Um, but, you know, 135 euros or three and a half kilos of fucking meat. Um, and there's also, you know, there's also, a, that was just the main course. You had a starter, dessert, etc. as well. So it was like way too, it was overkill, like ma massive overkill. A turd duck in. <laughs> um, anyway. I'm going to use this a little bit. Now, you know what, I kind of want to open ground. And there... Kind of wait for the reinforcements probably, so I might just want to move up this way. But then there's also the the water. Does it slow them down? Only calf, I'm guessing. Or yeah, okay. Well, I don't want to be charging towards that, so I guess I will set up around here somewhere. Um. Oh God, okay. Hold on. Let's put them over here. But yeah, that was um. It was a nice idea. The, the turkey. But it was way too much. And it was um, definitely, you know, one of those things where you, you gotta you gotta do it some more. Or, tr like, practice some more, basically, before you get it completely right the first try. Or not first try, before you get it completely right. Just, that was the end of the sentence. I don't know why I kept going. Alright, we're gonna go over here somewhere. Because I don't really want the... I'd rather go all the way up here, to be honest. I don't want the water to be fucking us over, so let's just run up this way. Cav over here. With these cav are gonna sit over here somewhere. Alright. One of one of the this I like about this game is when you become a big force you stop really caring about what exactly you're building and just build what you want from a menu. Yeah. Yeah, basically. A duck inside a chicken inside a turkey, holy fuck. <laughs> yep. Also, I should mention, by the way, Drake, um, since obviously we had that whole situation with um, uh, Patreon and the Subscribestar, etc. You can now do uh, YouTube memberships. Obviously, you just donate it, so you don't have to do it now, obviously. But if you wanted to do like the monthly thing, you can also just do it on YouTube now. It has the same like rewards and stuff, and as well as some additional ones. And it, just for the future, so you're aware, basically. But um, obviously, your all your help has already been appreciated. Um, okay, let's let's move a little bit further forward. Um, they had a decent amount of ranges, I think, but I'm just, I just don't want the forest to ruin my calf charges, is the main thing. Although we do get range resistance, and it doesn't actually seem like we do get a reduced movement speed. It's not even fucking telling me. There we go. What about you? Okay, yeah, okay, well, only for the, the those ones, because they're heavy calf, but eh. Alright, okay, good. Now that you've been made aware, sir. Let's spread out a little bit further, because they've got a lot of infantry. No cav. I keep putting this unit, like, here, but it's mostly... So they're uh, safe from range units, but 
they never got engaged in melee. Units always seem to just kind of converge on not like these six basically and just ignore the other ones around them. It's a bit awkward, but oh well. Also, man, that line is going very far wide. I'm gonna pull you guys across the river for now. We are slow in the river, so we gotta be careful, but it's actually for you also. Is it just 10% and then heavy calf? 25, okay. Fuck Patreon. <laughs> yeah, you really hate it. Um, I know they made, you know, that whole situation with, uh, what was his name? It was not right, but I also just personally didn't really give a shit. They've also, they've always been pretty straightforward with me and they've always done what it, what they say on the tin, basically. Ooh, you should uh, be further spread out. Fucking go. When I say fucking go, I mean fucking go. Jesus Christ, they're in range now. I wasted some time. Oopsie. Would you play a Total War game in Korea? I'll, I'll play any Total War game, really, when it's new. Okay, there's a lot of units being distracted by these guys. Not exactly my intention, but once, as always, it kind of, it's okay. Uh, I'm gonna have you guys shoot at the range units again. Uh, no, I'm okay. I need to make sure I actually turn that off. I always forget about that. I also always forget to put you on fucking fire at will and just shoot her ye right now. Right, shoot at range units. Oh boy, what was that? Graphical glitch. I'm not sure if you're in range, but do it anyway. You shoot at that one instead, and you shoot at that one. Okay, calf. Let's, oh god, you guys might be getting caught. No, you're okay. Oh god! Is it better to deploy all the cavalry on one side or divide them on... I like dividing on two sides. Because that way... I've actually done a decent amount of damage to him. If you divide on two sides, um, you can... You can, well, for one, it... Oh god, you guys are properly slow here. Um, if I weren't, range, like, focusing on these range units right now, for example, um, I would be able to get onto those units from two ang or from two sides. Which... Okay, you're being attacked in melee as well, huh? Um, which means I could... I could it would be much easier for me to catch them, because they're gonna, you know, if, if I only have them coming from one side, they're gonna run away in one direction, and I'm not gonna be able to catch It takes a, long, a, a lot longer to catch them. Um, and the same goes for this kind of stuff. Like right now, I can charge at the back of units from on all sides essentially. Whereas if I had come from this side only, I have to kind of work further. I, it takes me longer to get to the position from where I can charge. This is a bad idea, by the way, running them all the way across. It would take quite. Oh, did I not do that yet? Or was that the second one already? Either way, I. Oh god, you've taken a lot of damage. What the fuck happened there? Oh, because oh my god, my cro my crossbow units are firing him at him specifically. What the fuck? I've never seen that before. A general that's in melee just getting focused down like that by crossbow units. What the fuck was that? That was insane. Also, what was this? We did nothing. I did nothing. But yeah, now you can see like we're working our way f from the the outside to the middle. So I I tend to prefer attacking. Actually, attack that one. From two different sides. Um, get another charge in there. Get a charge in there. <laughs> you need to get the fuck out of there. Hopefully, maybe even make room for this guy to come straight in. There's an RC unit being annoying there. Maybe I can reach them. That'd be great. You know what? You might want to come over here actually, because I've a lot of shit to murder around here, and this shit is not going to last forever. In fact, they are not going to last very long at all. Let's bring us a piece, but it's only 60 M. So as, as scary as that looks, it's not really that scary. Okay, get in there. I gotta get this shit done quick, because this is this is actually very painful here. Fucking explosions, dude. Yeah, that'll make this battle a lot easier for them to handle. Enemy generals. Oh, we killed fucking... Oh, he ran away and he died. Well, he's wounded anyway, because he's a... Uh, Main general, of course, but still. Um, okay, we just mostly got the defend, the bringers of peace to deal with now. Yeah, just charge them, I guess. You're not supposed to be attacking them. That's a bad idea. That's bad, okay. They are selling out, so killing as much as humanly possible here is definitely recommended. Some of those range units. Oh, that one's got to survive one, one guy too many. That sucks. 
no, don't charge that. They're gonna stay stationary before I get to them. What the fuck are you doing in melee? Did I tell you to attack? Oh boy. Oh boy! This unit's took, uh, taking a lot of damage. That's not exactly what I had intended. I didn't intend for my guys to die. I know, crazy, right? Um, oh, you're not doing too hot. You're supposed to charge into them. Oh, damn, they routed. Fuck. Yeah, G Militia are really shit now that they've been nerfed. That's actually something I gotta take into consideration more often. Also, can you fucking just route already? Like, some of these units... I don't know. Okay, we did a good charge into them. Like, these units should just fucking get out of here now. And then it, sh it should just be the bringers of peace that are not routing yet. Okay, charge them instead. Okay, they have gone. There you go. Now we're starting to get some routing here. Okay, if we can kill him off as well, that'd be great. Because then there's no generals to kill in the town. In the town. We did get one unit routing here. This one's fucking low, but... Yeah, that's about it, actually. It's just those two units, really. You should get out of there now. It's a waste of your... Manpower. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna have some of these guys just start killing everything that needs killing. I think there's more stuff to kill that way. They're gone already. Get out of there, because there's just those three units of bringers of peace now. No ammunition. No turkey. Let's go this way instead. There's plenty of shit to kill there. This unit over here is probably gonna get away too. They kill them so slowly. It was like running around inside of this unit, but not doing any actual damage. So annoying. That one's gonna get away as well. There's gonna be lots of shit that got away, that's for sure. Give me another charge in here. <laughs> Game too easy for that to happen to a Total War God. What happened? Um, if Smart Monkey loses all his territory in this playthrough, though, and gives up in the end. A very sad ending. Wait. Can you can you see the future? <laughs> um, we killed that guy as well, right? Come back and kill some fucking units for me, because these guys aren't dying. Kill more, please. Okay, you guys are almost there. That unit's gonna get away for sure, so let's just kill them instead. They're gone. They're gone. They're gone. That one I think we're gonna get in the end actually, so that's okay. You get out of there again. These stupid bringers of peace, man. Stop bringing them peace, alright? It's almost a race now. Who's gonna die? Which one's gonna die? Well, this one's gonna die first, but those ones are like 8 and 7. This one's got 6 now and 7. This one's just 1. Right there. Wait, where the fuck did he go? He's being pushed around. He's on the floor now. How did he survive that? Where's he even trying to go? Oh, he just took a fucking stab. He's got hit again. Still up. Oh, there he goes. All right. Uh, three men remaining. Three men. Oh, which one's gonna die first, boys? That one's down to one. It's probably that one. I'm guessing. Could be any of them though. Who knows? Nope, it's that one. That appears like we just charged straight through the unit or something. Also, where the fuck are you at? Oh, I told you to attack that unit. It's already dead, right? Okay, let's make sure I kill everything off then, because I'm just kind of paying too much... To yeah, see, that unit I could have I could have had, and now it's going to get away, because I fucked up. That one, we should have. No problem. They're gone already. And that's actually... It's just that unit now. Which is going to get away. And then this one, which I think we killed enough of. Yeah, alright. Close. I'm oh, sure, whatever. Night, gym boy. Going to sleep? What? Where? Wait, hold on. Which part of the, which part of the world are you in? Are you? Because if you're in America, you would have already. It's probably really late, like well, really early on the thirty-first, I guess. And if you're in, if you're in uh, Asia. Then it would be around Christmas or around Christmas. What the fuck? I'm around New Year's right now. We can kill her Yi. Tempted. Uh, 300 bucks or military instructor. I don't really care about the item, but yeah, I'll kill her Yi off. And I'll definitely take the replenishment right now. Especially when we're about to um, take the town. 
Uh, anyone have trouble recruiting Gan Ning with Sun Jian? Never showed up in two different playthrough. I've never played a Sun Jian yet, actually, surprisingly. So I, uh, I don't know. I, the only time I... Oh no, he's dead! The only time I've had him was in my Ma Tong campaign. Campaign? Campaign. The Emperor Li, Emperor Li Hong is dead. It appears he's perished of natural causes, but his death has caused chaos across the land. Alright, shit's gonna happen now. Empress Hood takes over for like two turns, and then she gets fucking killed as well, doesn't she? Damn, still no legendary characters. Well, besides uh, what's-his-face that we already have. Gorgia. Gorgia. Fucking explosions, dude. Rebellion and Unping. I assume I was aware of that one. Yeah, I think I was. As long as I don't fully replenish, I think we can handle it. Handle it. If I upgrade that to level 3, I do get a better garrison, but... Minus fervor. I mean, it, it does make them the buildings a little bit better, but I don't know. Um, I will just get more food if you don't mind. You should be so kind as to provide me with more food, please. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Get out of here. We got a wooden ox. That's I need a clay dog, I believe. So almost what I need. Also, we have another level up on you again. Okay, we can finally... Well, we can either take Flames of the Phoenix, which is insane. Or we can finally get the battle running speed, which is really good too. Plus, it leads to intensity, which gives us more charge bonus. Oh, boy. Flames of the Phoenix is so good for killing units, but... I mean, I really want... I mean, I really want that one. I think I'm going to go for that one, that one, that one. And I want Vengeance as well, probably. Because he is commanding. Uh... God, yeah, 25, because the that's the one thing is that my units are super slow. Having said that, though, these guys are in a different... Um, yeah, I don't. I only benefit on those four guys right there. I do those two, but whatever. So I'm actually, I'm less tempted. Uh, however, what I can do, because I, well, I can't do it now, but I actually can... Oh, no, level six, I think I need to be. So, yeah, one more level, I can get those guys. Okay, so let's get Flames of the Phoenix. Then when I get to level six of him, I can recruit... The Destroyers of Treachery. Um, whom I will then put in... Like, I'll get four of those guys, basically. They're a little bit more expensive, but not too much. And we have the money for that. And then I can get rid of these guys and finally get, like, an actual normal-looking army. I got some ballistas in here, probably. Um, and then we just have four good cav units, and we can make them faster with that thing. So, yeah, I mean, that's, that's what we'll do. Well, in fact, that's definitely what I'm doing, because I've already done it. Um, what time is it? 4.21, unfortunately. Missed the, uh, the window there, but I'm going to go for another half an hour or so, 40 minutes. Have to fight this one manually. I could demand surrender. Oh, God damn it. I guess maybe yellow turbuses don't do that or something. 168 men. We have to do the same thing as always. Shoot them down with our crossbows. Just bought this game with all DLC on Steam. Oh no, you yeah, you should use my link that Drake told you about. You can get a refund on Steam. And then use my link and you get it cheaper. Great. Barbarian DLC. Right. That's the first time you've said that now. It's starting to look like spam. Um, looking forward to your own playthrough. Yeah, well, you, you, should. you should. You should You should. look forward to it. This fucking great game's great. Uh, ooh, this is one of those places where they might actually set up some stuff back there so I can use a crossbow or two to just shoot them down. So I think I am going to attack from here. Yeah, looks like a good, or sounds like a good idea. You guys are pointless. Uh, you are gonna go up front, drop the fucking siege. <laughs> this is okay. We have so few units that we don't even have men behind it pushing it, but somehow it would still move forward. I'm sure. Either way. Yeah, my uh, forces are a bit low. In fairness, our infantry can barely fit these guys behind them. But um, all right. Uh, get the calf over here for no real reason. Spear units. Wow, this one's barely wounded. What the fuck happened there? Alright. Yeah, they did put some stuff there, so our crossbows are gonna have a field day just shooting at shit. Shooting the shits. And. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to run. Alright. I have to move forward a little bit more, actually, f to be in range. In proper range, that is. Might be able to start shooting from there. There's, there are quite a few range units, so we got to be a little bit careful. Yeah, we are firing. Alright, see you later. 
There goes one unit. Fully shattered. Poachers, get the fuck out of here. Archer defectors. I think I have like two guys able to shoot at that, so let's move forward a little bit more. Still have sieges in this game almost as much as Warhammer, yeah. In this game they look a lot better, so I, I, I will say that, which is why I like them more. But yeah, they are not great. At all. Ooh, the towers are actually shooting at these units here. Let's move further forward. Hey yo, shoot at these two guys. They're much better targets, what do you say? Alright. Um, I'm gonna run three of these guys up this way. Literally just shoot at those guys right there. And then this unit should be able to kill that unit there. I mean, we're definitely in range, I just don't have the actual angle, I'm guessing. Yeah, I can't actually shoot it. That's unfortunate. There isn't much I can do about it. It's too close to, to the wall. To the window, to the wall. I guess I can shoot it from there. But then I have to get shot while doing that. Oh, well, you're shooting. Okay, hold on. Yeah, you're shooting him. Okay, never mind. Come back this way. Yep, yeah, we're definitely killing it that way. We're losing more men here than I would normally do, but they're kind of shooting at my men instead of. Man, are you got no, not going to route? I should also get you guys closer to there. Okay. And they're fully shattered, okay. Get you guys into a position to start shooting. Just gotta hope that they keep shooting at... What the fuck are you doing? No, shoot at, shoot at them, please. Can you not do it? Surely you can. You guys are shooting, so you're, you're doing something. Okay, yeah, yeah, that guy's getting wounded now, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't see much in the way of... Oh, yeah, yeah, we're shooting. No ammunition. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do this, to be honest. Okay, get the fuck out of here. You're almost out. Okay, there goes one guy, but that's not enough. No, don't walk away. Okay, stay there. 39k, he's got 18k left. Yeah, he got about the same amount. I don't... I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to actually climb up, aren't I? Damn it. 9%, 14 Okay. You're still on 4... Okay, you're just not shooting, I'm guessing. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to actually fight this one somehow. I'm gonna have to do something. We have wounded them severely, but it's not quite enough. Um, yeah, that's it. Alright. Uh, what do... What do... I have a siege engine, so I guess I can... Yeah, I can, that's probably the easiest way to do this. Get up on the wall, take the gatehouse, and then just run over and kill them. There's quite a few towers, but this guy... And, yeah, we can easily do it. Alright. Then that is what we will do. Keep triple speed. These guys can stay there. They're not dying, so... It's fine. Um, I am going to do another multiplayer game of Lion Art. We're going to, we were planning on doing one ages ago on Free Kingdoms when it came out, but he was doing one with Jackie Fish at the time, and that took longer than he anticipated. And by the time it was done, he was kind of, you know, done with Free Kingdoms for a little while. So he said, you know, we'll do it when the next major DLC comes out, which is this one. Um, so we're, we're planning on doing one when, uh, like, when I'm on stream as well. Um when uh, the full-on embargo is dropped. So after the 9th at some point, we'll be doing a, a campaign at some point. But, um, yeah, we have done quite a few campaigns in the past on Warhammer and on we did one on Shogun 2. Done, we've done quite a few, actually. I think we've done mostly on Warhammer. Sub-Legend, I'm back. I, I'm not Legend, but I am also a Legend. I'll tell you, I'll, I will say that. I don't know, it's not working. What's not working? Where are you from? Co-op and competitive. Well, that's the beauty of Free Kingdoms, is that um, you just start a campaign and you can kind of switch it on the fly. If you want to start murdering each other, all of a sudden we just declare war on each other. With Legend. Uh, we, I did I did one with Legend at some point as well, but um, there wasn't a whole lot of chemistry in terms of playing with each other. 
we said completely different play styles and commentary and stuff, so we didn't really continue that after a while. You meant that I'm a legend. Aw, oh, thank you. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna run around because if I attack that thing, we're just gonna get shot by those towers while we're attacking it. So, I, well just, I mean, if I'm gonna get shot by them anyway, I might as well just run through them as fast as humanly possible. As fast as humanly. Are you getting shot right now? Yeah, we are. We're dying over here. I hate that the fucking tower can shoot you while you're behind it. I mean, it, it makes some sense, but it really ought to work like it does in. Um, like medieval two or something, where if there's no one, if no one is near this tower, it should. Well, actually, I guess the way it does in um, so we can't even capture it. That's the problem here. Like, what am I supposed to do here? I can't capture. I'm just. I'm dying slowly. I guess we'll run away. In uh, Warhammer, it works that way, doesn't it? Um, almost worth trying to take these towers first, so we don't get shot while fighting these guys. But this shouldn't last too long. Especially now that I've got flames of the phoenix. Well, we may need to still, well, still need to be in melee with them for me to actually be able to hit him with that, but that might work. Come on. Do it. Stop moving around. Do it. Do it. Fucking. There we go. Good hit. The fuck was that? I just got shot by this tower over here. Are you serious? Look at this fucking arrow. Look at it go. Oh, we won. Nice. I like winning. All right, get out of here. Um, Canada. Um, okay, so when you go to the website, it'll say like, if you're not from the EU, click here to go to a different version. So you just click on that and then, then it'll work. The kind hearted Shu Bolong. I'll have that. So unfortunate you're kind hearted because I'm not, you fucking bastard. Alright. So yeah, unfortunately the Emperor never saw the uh, demise of the, the the Mandate War, I guess, or the, the Yellow Turbans. There's still two towns to take. I'm pretty sure we're going to run through them pretty rapidly, but still. And that's Oh, no, they upgraded this level 4. This was level 3 before. But no longer. Movement range when commanding and speed. Um, so yeah, I don't want to give that to you because we have better things for you already, but... Do I want force satisfaction? Do I have... Is that the adoption still? I think it is. Yeah. Um, I could get loose from mate now. Loose from mate doesn't do fucking shit. Any bonuses though? No, I don't own any of that shit. So... I could use this on someone, but I think that's going to be great on him if he ends up leading an... Oh, he's already got something like that. I don't even know why he's got this. He's not, he's not leading an army, but... In fact, yeah, just fucking get rid of this right now. Unless I have those things yet, but I, no, I don't have a clay dog yet. Clay dog. And then what What do you have currently? Because you got nothing. All right, so I should give you something at least. Uh, campaign movement range... And under speed, he doesn't. He's not commanding, so this is not giving him that. I could even give him the plus six, plus six that we just took off of him, but I have to wait. So yeah, I guess I'll wait. Fine, whatever. Horse pastures. Ooh, we're gonna get reduction cost for our calf. That's pretty good. I don't remember exactly what building that is. I think it's a uh, peasantry, right? Income. So I still don't really want to build this in any other way than peasantry. So I suppose I'll keep this and I'll demolish that. And the next turn we take it, and then we get more income again. whoop de do. Uh, how are we doing in terms of rebellions? There's one right there and one right there. Okay. Sure. Whatever. Um, we got another turn or two before... Yeah, so two more turns before that goes away, even though it says one, it's actually two. He's actually got one more food now. There's no income from horse pastures, just reduction costs. Okay, so I can build that in any way I want. What the fuck are you doing, my dude? Um, oh, fucking getting shot over here. Fuck it, I don't even know if you guys can hear that. If if you can't, it's it looks even more ridiculous. Um, okay, Herjin is not dead. Goodbye, Herjin. Q 
Killing the Unix. Their scouts reported the forces loyal to the ho to Hoji and have broken into inner residency. Okay, we killed the uh, dudes. Yep. This is also a visual bug, by the way. This smoke stuff supposed to be way larger, I'm guessing. Hey, man, what's up? Hey, Bayam. I'm alright, how are you? You guys said do it. What did I... Well, uh, what was what we were talking about doing it? Um, murdering him? I don't even know. Okay, Liu Yang has been sacked, I guess. Yeah, whatever. He's still there, even though yeah, he's actually dead. So he'll 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 fade into the into nothingness next turn. They're gonna besiege me soon, I'm sure. Which is gonna suck, I'm sure. Uh, oh, he's finally re recalled from his assignment after 15 turns, and he still hasn't leveled up. Oh no, he has. I can get an extra army now. Oh, but I'm so close to... Yeah, I just need one more town and I become... Okay, so I think I'm not going to take it. But I think... Because I can take this right now, can't I? Unless there's some huge army in there. Which there isn't. I should be able to just take this one with an auto resolve. Although that's... My army's a bit fucked, so maybe this isn't an auto resolve. But either way, I if I take this, I will become second marquee. So I don't need to get that to get another army. And I don't think I will. Um... I don't want those two buildings at once here. I shouldn't have done that. It was a waste of money. Because that one building that was making me money, I could have kept it around for a turn. I think I'll fight this one manually, and then I'll level him up to get resourcefulness or even judgment. One of the two, probably judgment. And then I'll immediately recruit him in here, recruit a bunch of units into him, and then we'll start building our second army finally. And then I still am missing out on... Oh no, I can't recruit him this turn. Shit, and they'll probably attack me this coming turn. Let's hope we get one more turn, because that would actually that could actually make a pretty big difference. We can't recruit him right now because he was he just got recalled out of, out of his assignment just now. Um anyway. Um I'm gonna upgrade that as well, sure. I'll do the I'll do them I'll do a manual battle though, because I think I might lose too much if I fought it manually. Um wait, is this Yeah, it's a field battle, yeah, we just fight it. Okay. So hi from Mandate of Heaven. I'm watching you and starting a new Gongdu playthrough. Good man. Hey Donkey Man, Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Gurgly. You too, man. Is it not still light outside? Surely a little early for fireworks. They. <laughs> this is the Netherlands, man. They they start fireworks like a week in advance. Um, and it's not fireworks. Is that like I'm, we we had a discussion about this earlier, so I don't want to get into it too much. But basically. People just fucking, you can buy fireworks like a week in advance. It's technically illegal until six o'clock, so one and a half hours from now. Um, but people start firing it off, and it's not really fireworks, it's just fucking explosions, man. It's just, you know, there's like two types of fireworks. There's stuff that looks good, which, you know, that's fine for me. And then there's the stuff that's just a loud bang, and all the fucking kiddos, and even adults, they love it. They're like, ah, it does, boom, ha <laughs> ha And it fucking pisses me off, because, you know, I have a dog, and it doesn't like it. So, but anyway, point is, um, people are fucking dumb. No, the point is that, yeah, people start doing it a week in advance, and, um, and on the day itself, it's the worst, obviously. And then there'll be, there'll probably be a little bit more tomorrow and a little bit more the day after that, but generally it does kind of fade. Because you can only buy fireworks from a week in advance, like I said, and then, um, it's, it's illegal throughout the entire year, except for, um, from 6 p.m. until like like 2 p.m. in the 2 a.m. in the night or something like that. I don't I can't remember the actual number, but it's more like a firecracker thing. Yeah, except you know it's like big old fucking explosions, like big fire, big fucking firecrackers basically. They actually have cavalry, so it looks like they're both going to this side though. So I'll put you guys there. We call them inconsiderate fuckers around these parts. Yeah, that's um, it's a pretty pretty decent way to describe them. Also, I should put my line up front. What am I doing? What the fuck am I doing, huh? I'm kind of poorly timing this right now because my guys can't shoot while my lines are running through. That was a bad thing. You've done a bad thing, mother trucker. Oh shit, you guys should be going up here. Just go around this way. Oh wow, okay. And this is a town, so we don't have to we don't have to kill them entirely either. Just gotta rout them. Rout them bastards. Start charging over there. They might turn back, but yeah. 
In fact, I should just send my infantry at them as well. Get into melee quicker, get this over quicker. Wow, the cav all, all, all fucking went away already. These guys are almost riding already as well. You're gonna charge in there. They are facing... Actually, no, they're facing sideways, so this should be okay. Give me that cheeky, quick uh, uh, routes, please. Last one. And we're done. Alright. That probably could have been better. In fact, this shouldn't took a big old beating. But it's okay. Some people just like to see something to burn or anything. Yeah, so basically, like, that's the thing, right? Is that... Um, also, your message got hold. Let me show that. Is that, um, it's just people, like teenagers and kids and stuff, they just do it to blow shit up and it fucking pisses me off because it's taxpayers that pay for that kind of shit to get repaired again, right? But, like, they, they throw it in, 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 like, in, um, like, uh, garbage bins and stuff outside or, or they'll, they'll, they, they, they throw it into your fucking mailbox and shit like that, blow up your mailbox and, in, in even into people's, like, their mailbox that's attached to the door, so inside people's house. <laughs> Fucking start fires and houses and shit. I just don't see the fucking appeal, but hey, that's just me, I guess. Um, Alright, we got Law Enforcer. Ooh, plus two public order faction wide. Now that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all, in fact. Uh, martial Law, what's that? Plus four public. Oh, that's only a minister to command already. I'm even insane if that was uh, faction wide as well. Um, I should give that to someone, so I guess I'll give it to you. But I was planning on giving you the, the big one, this one. Oh, which is now available, what the fuck? Um, no, I'll give this one to you, and I'll give that one back to him. Okay, I'm, I'm going to level up you up the normal way. I'm going to go Judgment first. And I can now recruit him if um, if he was available, but he's not. Because he's, he's coming out of an assignment. There are quite a few other people I could recruit, but I don't want these damn people. So let's hope it, this gives me one more turn. One more turn. Last time I think last time I think it did actually do that. So, and then we got horse pastures minus ten percent upkeep cost for cavalry units. And we have second marquis, so we now have an administrator and chancellor position available. But no one, to, actually, no. Yeah, you guys can do that. Um, I don't really, don't really care about that kind of stuff. Income from peasantry is okay, I guess, but. I'm assuming... Actually, this guy's less happy. He's also two levels higher. Fucking hell. Huang Fu Song has been out-leveled hard. Hard. No uh, minus happiness from, like, wanting a higher office or anything, though. He's honorable, which is helping. And he's loyal. Okay, so yeah, he's just, like, massive bonuses for that. You're honorable as well. Dutiful. Okay, so yeah, both both of them don't really want higher office, so I'm actually going to hold off on giving either one of those positions away, because they don't give any good bonuses right now. Um, and then we're going to take this soon, and then that'll be the Mandate War over, really. Pretty sweet. There's apparently three towns, though, owned by regular Yellow Turban Rebels somewhere in the world. So that, that's Who's this? Why am I at war with these people? Oh, it's like a alliance war, I guess. Um, okay. Love watching people playing this game. Still don't have the game because I'm poor. Aww. Surprised that it's that bad. Like, they're available year-round in the UK, but commonly around November 5th, UK holiday, but I never heard much about being used antisocially. See, there's the thing, though, right? In the Netherlands, weed is... Well, it's not technically legal, but again, it's accepted. Everyone knows that about the Netherlands. And weed is never an issue here. Like, no one makes a big deal out of it. People don't abuse it or anything like that. I mean, weed is difficult to be use anyway it's not really yeah whatever don't want to get into that right now but you know it's, it's a massive deal in america right or what well, in some states it's illegal there as well now but it, it used to be illegal everywhere and it was a massive deal you got weed you fucking you're a crazy person basically and so i don't understand like the netherlands basically we ban fireworks all year round so the moment people get the ability to use fireworks they go they go fucking nuts it's like perch perch night is, is a movie and there's a show about it as well or about it. It's a, it's a show based on Perch Night, where, you know, 364 days of the year, crimes are, like, you know, no one does any crime, because on one day of the year, or one night of the year or something, everyone's allowed to go crazy and fucking do as much as they want, murder each other, whatever. That's, like, kind of this, right? You have, like, 364 days of the year, something is illegal, and then on the one day of the year, you're allowed to do it, and everyone goes fucking nuts. 
So that's kind of the, the problem, that kind of stuff. They should just legalize it all together and people never will use fireworks, basically. But anyway. Um, all right, I think I'm uh, ready to end this turn here. Wait, hold on. I've got a lot of food right now. Did my... Oh, I've got trading room available. What the fuck? All right. Um, Kong Rong f is the highest, so Shu Yu is actually one higher. Lu Kang is even higher than that. All right. Give me some fucking cash. Oh, wow. That's not good. Give me... Have you got any ancillaries? You definitely don't. Okay, give me some money. Oh, all right. That's not bad. I have one more trade available too. Five ninety nine, sure. Uh, also, taxpayers are paying hard money for treatment of all less intelligent people who play with all these big fire. Oh yeah, that too. But that kind of makes me happy. That's like my little, um, like the thing that makes me happy is when I hear people blowing up their hands with fireworks. I'm like, another one by the dust. <laughs> like that. That actually, you know, that's okay for me. If you blow up your fucking hand with fireworks, you're being a fucking idiot. You deserve it. It's a natural selection. So, this one's actually higher. Alright, sure, I'll trade with you, I guess. What? What's that? Um, I should check if you've got any ancillaries, but... Let's do 950 or something. Yeah, alright. Any ancillaries, though? You do have a tax collector. That's uh, too much, though, isn't it? 7.6, okay, that's never gonna work. We're, it's not gonna work between us, Taiyan. All right, and then I have a lot of food. That one's still one turn though before I, I have it completely back. Are you more willing to negotiate about food? Um, no, you have no money, that's fine. You, you can get Empress her, uh, really, save her, but she's kind of useless, not gonna lie. Yeah, you can't use her, she's just, um, She's just a character, like the Emperor as well, you can't use him in, in the actual game, can't deploy him. Anyway, making almost free ground right now, pretty good. Um, yeah, the court stuff's irrelevant right now, let's just end the turn, I think. We have a spy available as well now. Um, we have no more books, we haven't had any books anytime recently. The last one we got was actually right at the end of the last stream. But oh well. All right, we're gonna take out the final town. I think we may have to siege that out. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do that today, but that next stream for sure, we'll get rid of them. I kind of want to do it now because I want to see it happen, but they just recruited a fucking army in there as well, I just noticed. Is that a full stack in there? Oh, that must have been a full stack that came from elsewhere. Oh, they besieged me, damn. That's unfortunate. So I can't recruit what's his face there, but I can. I guess I can still recruit him in here and run him over. So that's probably a good idea. What the fuck? I guess it's happened. Yep, no longer emperor. I love that one so much. No longer Emperor, Empress. Uh, okay. Um, the Empire dissolves. It's happened, boys. Um, I was like one or two turns away from finishing the shit off, and then it happened. Empress Her vassalized Han Empire. Uh, peace, peace, more peace. Gong Du signed peace. Puppet Han Emperor captured Empress Her. By Dong Zhu, who's now got the Han Empire. Is he also in there? Yeah, I'm probably gonna make him. I'm gonna become an ally with him again, just like the other campaign. I don't want the fucking big Dong on. Well, he's not on my doorstep this time, like he was on the other one. In this campaign, he certainly seems a lot weaker than he was on the other campaign. But anyway, um, they are a mere pawn in the larger conflicts. And then Confederation, Agents of Corruption. <laughs> Lord Lu Xi, the Empress Dowager has thrown her lot in with a cabal of corrupt eunuchs who now wield absolute power over the Han and the Child Emperor. Prepare yourself, conflict is inevitable and order must be restored. The eunuchs' ambitions know no bounds. The Child Emperor must be liberated from their clutches at all costs, or a new order established for the good of all. Do not stand idly by, Lu Xi. Through your wisdom and strength, guide the people to a better, brighter future. But to continue to build your power and prestige, break the eunuchs' grip over the Empire and restore the peace... Uh, restore peace and order no matter the cost. Okay. So this is, um, I think that's unique to us, this faction. Oh my goodness, anyone special? Fucking eight people became available. None of them are like actual legendary or something. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm stopping soon because my nose, I really need to 
I need to do like uh, I need to blow my nose. Is what I'm trying to say. What is it called again? Man, none of these people are even like. Hey, it's Bao Dan. This guy's got thirty fucking cunning. Holy macaroni boys. <laughs> Never said that before. This guy's actually pretty good. I'm kind of tempted to recruit him. He's actually quite good. He's got wizard. He's, he's he needs to get these four level up still or like skills still, but he's pretty pretty solid. And he's got thirty cunning. Like what what else do you want on a guy like that? On a um. I think I am going to recruit him. I'm minus 63. Oh, right, because this is being besieged. And I can't deal with this right now. Crushing defeat. Uh, oh, they didn't even recruit those. Or replenish those, even. Alright, I will recruit... What's his face? Is his official name, of course. I don't want to get that first. I think I'll get this up first, yeah. So this doesn't make me any money. In fact, I might not even want to go for money here. I could finally go for something else. But I've already... Did I upgrade this? Or that is not... I just didn't delete it. But I deleted the private workshop building tier 2. Which feels like a, a massive waste now that I've done that. Um, could go for commerce income. I could just go for more food, I guess. But this doesn't give me anything in terms of food. Like, there's no reason to go for that specifically here. Um, I'm tempted to go for something different. But I don't know. I guess I might leave that decision for later. Um, there's a couple things I do want to do right now, though. But I'm not sure if I'm going to do another turn, so unless I save the game by attacking this... Oh, there isn't a full stack in here. I could have sworn I saw a full stack, but maybe that was just something else. Um, I was going to say, there might have been a full stack elsewhere that just ran in here or something, but I guess not. So I will probably besiege them this turn, even though I could do with some replenishment. But he might otherwise be able to reach, and then that would suck, so... The city provides some income, check what it is. It's just peasantry income, always. But that's not really what I mean, though. No. Uh, I'm going to recruit Bao Dan, because he's pretty solid. Let's get him in. Are you unhappy here? You're incredibly unhappy due to deserves or once higher court offices. That's fine. Um, or core position. Income from industry, commerce, silk, and spice. Okay, we don't have any great position for you to go in yet, because... I would normally, I would put you in like here. So I need to take that first before I make you a administrator and put you in there. But I think I will, I'll besiege this town right now then. Crushing defeat apparently is predicted. Oh wow, they got a huge garrison in here. That's fine. I'll just stop them from recruiting or uh, replenishing. All right, so we'll just do that. Maybe he'll even join in. As long as my uh, supplies don't you know, fade too quickly, we're okay, yeah, we're fine. Um, I'm definitely going to recruit What's-His-Face here. Gorgia. And I'm going to give him an actual decent force immediately as well. Crossbowman. I'm not, I mean, I'm losing money right now, so this looks like a bad thing to do, but we have the money. I'm almost tempted to go one uh, crossbow, multiple crossbow, uh, bolt crossbow, and then one trebuchet. But I think I'm just going to do this. I'm going to get a trebuchet. Or should I get this right now? I'll get one more. I'll just get six crossbows for now. But I will I will switch those over soon. Don't worry. Also, I should have gone at a time, but it's okay. All right. Don't want any more of those people. Um, so when I take this, I'll make him an administrator. And I'll put him in that town. Because he, he actually gets a, his bonuses are, are more useful there. Um, yeah, that's fine. We're losing 778 bucks per turn. But... I just got to deal with this, and then that's fine. That's dealt with. Um, we can build stuff here. Right, so I guess if I'm going to go for... I, I should go for... Well, I'm going to make that one an income build, or income province. So I guess I should I can go for whatever I want here. So let's just get another food province, I guess. Since I've already got the right buildings for it, I suppose it makes sense. It will never be a particularly great building in terms of that, but... Eh. All right, um, I'm not going to use you anytime soon, so I guess for the moment I no. But if I do that, I can't make you an administrator, so I need to make sh I need to be careful with that too. Okay, let's just hope it works out. Also, I can probably exempt these places for a little while. The fervor is probably dying down as well, so that's all fine. Do I have any other places that are exempted from tax? Does it say here if they are? I think it does. I'm pretty sure none of them are. No. All right. 
Cool. So I'm gonna just do this one more time. They do take two turns before they start taking magician here, but that's okay. As long as the guy doesn't like leave me before two turns are over, it's okay. Uh, and they might even sally out, although they probably won't. All right. So that's gonna be that. Kill the turbans this episode. I can't because I mean I could, but no, because no, I, I no, I can't. I don't have that much time anymore. I want I want to be able to do another three hour stream as the final stream for this because again I'm 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 only allowed to do eight hours. Um, Liu, oh right, yes, that's what I was gonna do. Liu Chong. Before I forget, good good that you said. He's only on minus ten right now, but he'll still give me a lot for twenty food. And then twenty one should become yeah becomes worth less. So we just want twenty food. Um, and then territory, please. So what do we want? This is Zhongshan, small city. This is large town, the uh, Bohai. Okay, let's see which or yeah, let's just see how much they're worth each. Thirty-five point eight and forty-three point three. So it's only an eight difference. Um, and this is the oh, this is the small city, and this is yeah, this is the large. Okay, so this one's level three, this one's level four. See so yeah, we want level four one if I can get it. So let's see if I can make it happen. Uh, I don't really want to get rid of that one. Don't really want to get rid of any of those things. This one is fine. That one's fine. But um, I'm not going to make it with just that kind of shit. So I need to do more than that. Don't want to give away that one. I'm going to have to give away one of these silver ones, I think. Um, let's see. We have quite a few. Well, quite a few. We have two of these like things that give cunning. This one's probably better than that one, so I'm actually gonna get rid of this one then. Uh, Six point four. How much? Else, what else would I have to give to you for that? I don't have that much money, so can't really do much of this. That's way too much. I'm not gonna pay him that much. No, I'm not gonna pay him five grand for that. I have to change another ancillary, I think. So take that one out. Give him one of these stone pigs. That's 4.1. The military instructor, I could change that one over too, I guess. Because then we'll get a lot closer. I don't want to give him this one, really, if I can avoid it, because that thing is pretty solid. Um, so I'll have to give him another stone pig, I guess. It's not really what I want to do here, but... Then 1.8 in, in money should be okay. 150 or something. Yeah, that's pretty close. All right, so 165 per turn. We get a fucking city out of it, so like money-wise, it's worth it. It's a lot of ancillaries to giving away here, and some of them I actually want. In fact, like three of them are ones I want, but yeah, I'll still do it. I, I could, I suppose I could just not take... Yeah, I think that might be better, actually. Let's take the other town, so I don't have to give as much good stuff away. Let's just take the, the one that's worth like eight less. It's not a huge difference. Um, and you're giving up a, like a whole level, but I think that's worth it. So I can take away my stone pigs. I'd rather, yeah, hold on, let's just see how far we can get. Because I don't care about giving that one away. I need 7.7 .7 so I can give away this one, that one, and then the fan. And then I'm still a little bit short, but then I can give the rest. Oh, I'm already giving the money as well. Okay, so I'll have to do one good thing then. So let's give let's take, away, take, take away the guard. And then give him one of my good ones. So that'll be one stone pig. Yeah, that's totally fine. And then we can even reduce the money a little bit. All right, so 108 per turn, a couple of ancillaries, 20 food, and then we get one town. Sounds good to me. Thanks for the town, my dude. So now he's just got one area in the middle of all my shit. So we just took this one right here. Oh, and he's actually got... What the? Did he just never change this over? Or does he have somehow got different things? And that's got a fishing port, okay. It's fine. Um, yeah, so these are actually okay because I'll just switch this over to what they are. So, yeah, that's fine. In fact, I should probably do that first because it's way quicker than building that up to level four. All right, okay, cool. So um, I have unhappiness. Yeah, as long as he doesn't leave me, it'll be fine for now. I could even give him a promotion. 1600 bucks, never mind. I'm not going to fucking promote him. I can probably give him some stuff. Oh, yes, actually, he's got some stuff. I don't want a law enforcer. Um, does that give him? No, it gives him. Doesn't give me any satisfaction or anything. I can give him the guard for the moment, just to get his satisfaction up for now. 
the diviner okay i do want to probably give him that but right now there's no reason to do that and he's got plus six satisfactions from that so i guess i'll let him keep that for now I mean, once I give him the administrator position, he'll be fine. I just got to actually get this town so I can make him the administrator there. Because if I make him an administrator elsewhere, then it makes it's going to be more difficult to convert him over, basically. Anyway, oh, there he is, Lee Chong himself, kicked out of his town. Okay, so next turn we attack here. That should be fine then. Not getting a ton of replenishment actually, but we should be okay. Um, we're gonna take this. He, they might sally out. I don't know, but either way, we'll be able to deal with it. No problem. Although our infantry is a bit weak. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, we're, we're gonna be fine there. No problem. So this is just one more time to save the game. There you go. Saved. Um, so that'll be that for now. He's 69 years old. Fuck, who is? Better not be my leader. He's 50. No, no one in my faction is 69. Oh wait, is it this guy? Oh, for fuck's sake, he's 69 years old. God damn it, I never noticed that. Oh my god, he's so good. What a waste. Oh man, I should take these things off of him and just fucking fire him again. Oh boy, I never noticed that. I'll still make him an administrator, I guess. Fuck it. Oh boy. Do you prefer Romans over Ruckets? I'm pretty sure... Well, someone asked me that before. I don't know if that was you or not, but yeah, I do. Um, You might want to look at Bow Dance. Yeah, I should have fucking checked. I should have checked the fucking chat earlier. Anyway... That's going to be that for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for uh, the donations today as well. Uh, Drake's still here. I think Jim's already gone. And then the person who donated, Filipino Pacers. I'm not sure if you're still here. Thank you so much, though, to all of you. Thank you for all of you who are watching. Uh, a decent viewership the whole day or the whole stream again. So I'm happy with that. Um, happy New Year to all of you. Um, I will not be streaming tonight, which is because I'm, I'm going to be out celebrating New Year's Eve. Um, but yeah, for those of you, who, you know, whenever New Year is happening for you, uh, Happy New Year. Uh, I will see you all in the New Year. Tomorrow and the day after, I'll be allowed to stream on the official Total War channel, so I'll not be streaming on my own channel. Um, I'm not entirely sure yet when I'll be streaming, probably during the evenings, so my usual streaming time, except then I'll be on the official Total War channel. I'll post a link, uh, or I'll, I'll, I'll make a community post when that happens as well. Um, if you like my streams, please do feel free to subscribe as well. And all of that. So yeah, um, happy new year, and I'll see you all soon. Until then, have a good day and goodbye.